All right, what up, guys? We are live. So we got another speed dating stream for you. This one's going to be extra juicy. We got Marcus joining us. He's waiting backstage. I'm bringing him on any minute. And then we're also going to have Duke jump on. And then we got three lovely ladies, and they're all fairly different. We got Malek, who's a – what do we call you, like a streamer girl or an e-girl? What would you yeah, I'm you? a Twitch streamer. Twitch streamer. All right, cool. Then we got uh, Drea, who's like a – you're a CrossFit trainer? Uh, I do CrossFit and uh, into bodybuilding. <laughs> okay and then we got betty and what's your uh what's your thing i i make music okay cool yeah. <laughs> very diverse group of people uh so okay so you guys already know the rules you get five minutes you can go on a speed date with one of the girls two of the girls or all three of the girls uh so i'm gonna drop the link right now and we can start off by bringing marcus on yo what up hey what's up brother how are you what's going on buddy Ah, uh, not much, not much. Girls, how you doing? What do you? How are you? Good. You're, good. The, you're the first. You're the first person on the stream. But uh, yeah, man. So mm -hmm. the way it works is you can go on a speed date with either one of the girls, two of the girls, all three of the girls. Uh, typically, I give guests five minutes, but since you're uh, since you're an MVP, we'll give you ten minutes. And uh, yeah, you just run your best game, basically. Awesome, bro. Let's uh, let's get all the girls on and. Give me 10 seconds. I'm just going to post this link in my group so more guys can cool. jump on. Just give me one sec. Is this on YouTube right now? Yeah, we're live. Oh. Yeah, I came extra organized. Um, so I did. All right. All good now. All right, cool. Uh, so you want to do all three? Yeah, let's do all three. Um, if we got a little bit more than five minutes, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, let's do all three. Be more yeah, fun bro. that way, I think. I'll throw you like 10-ish minutes. All right, cool. I'm going to take myself off. Perfect. All right. How are we, guys? Hello. Hey, hey. How's it going? <laughs> you guys seem really excited. <laughs> all of you are like, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey. Um, all right. So I heard I'm the first guy on. Have you guys done this before? Have you done speed dating? I have. I have on Twitch and uh, just chatting okay. community. It's It's... A pretty common thing right now <laughs> okay so is it malik is that how i say it yeah that's perfect okay so malik's an expert dre have you done this before um no <laughs> no First okay time here. awesome perfect and betty um i can't say i've ever experienced this before so we are um exploring new horizons together perfect i like that uh, this is my first time actually doing a speed dating so we're oh, all in cool. this together That's besides awesome. uh besides malik who's wow. the expert wow. so, just exclude um, me it's okay it's okay no no it's all right yeah well it's me betty and Dre. all right we're all new so be nice <laughs> to us okay um all right so malik let's start with you yeah you uh you do some twitch stream is that right i do i do so what exactly you like games gaming what is it uh, i used to do gaming now i uh produce and host e-dates on my twitch channel oh it's legit what you do yeah that's hilarious <laughs> that's awesome so what, how does that work? Is it very similar to this? Uh, no, the setup is actually pretty different. I'll usually get mm -hmm. um, either an Instagram model or a streamer um, on my stream and then a cast of either bachelors or bachelorettes to compete for their love. Damn, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's, uh, it's literally like a dating show, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a dating Love show. Island or some shit. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> nice. That's cool. All right. And uh, Drea, I, yes. I see CrossFit. So do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Well, I started uh, three years ago through a friend. And, you know, like now, like after I get my goals going, I'm just going for the next challenge that is uh, compete and nice. I'm going to bodybuilding. Yes. <laughs> awesome. That's sick. And you, oh, yeah. uh, you train with that as well? Like, yes. In, uh, you, you teach like that's your profession? No, 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 no. I'm a realtor. Okay. All right, yeah, cool. it's nothing to do with that. That's my hobby, complete yes. opposite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. No, that's awesome. And so, when's your next competition? When are you? Uh, what are you training for? How does it work? Uh, hopefully for next year, sometime in Sweet. March, between March and June. Okay. Nice one. Awesome. <laughs> And uh, so I, I know I'm setting it up this way. It's a bit hard to have like a group conversation when we're like uh, live streaming. But uh, Betty, hit me. What uh, what are you up to? What do you do? Um, so I make music, I write songs, and then sing them, um, so it's nice. pretty exciting. That's cool. Yeah, what do you I, do? 
what do I do? So I run, a, I run a company, so very similar to Alex. We have two sides of the business. So one side is dating coaching. So we teach guys how to do online dating, um, how to date in person. This is the first time um, we're doing speed dating. We've never taught speed dating. So uh, it's, it's a new endeavor, it's fun. Um, and then we have, Malik, you good there? You throwing shit around? No, it's and then, just foul, my bad. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, all right, no worries. And then uh, there's the other side, which is sex coaching. So it's teaching men how to be better in bed, how to be more open sexually, how to explore their kinks, how to you know give women a better time. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. If you need female help to tell men about that, I will help you. Oh, please go. If you have one piece of advice for all the men out there, what is it? Oh, uh, <laughs> you gotta go two for one. You gotta go two for ah. I know what you're talking about. I think. Yeah, two. For I think. One. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you got to go like 15 for one. I think that should be the rule. You got to aim high, Betty. You got to aim high. I don't think we're talking about the same thing now. <laughs> no, probably not. Right, you have to tell me now. You have to tell me. What is two for I one? So how about the Red Sox? Ah, okay. All right. I get it. There's people watching and shoot you. No worries. So, sorry, Betty. I have to ask. I have to ask. This is not sex related, so you're fine. You're safe. Uh, what type of singer are you? Are you the one that likes to sing and wants people to hear you, or are you a little bit reserved and shy about it and keep your music to yourself a little bit more? Um, I like playing my songs, but when it comes to performing and stuff, I like bigger audiences where I can't see people's faces than smaller okay. intimate gatherings where I can like see people. That's fair. How do you feel about performing live on YouTube during a speed date? Um, sorry, I'm just fucking with you. I would make you do that. <laughs> I would make you do that. It's totally fun. I would make you do that. Uh, no, no worries. All right, so uh, where, where are you guys from? Let's, uh, let's go back to you, Malik. I'm from the East Coast, US. Of America. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So I'm Australian, okay? Coast. So I'm. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Coast. Yeah. That's awesome. You couldn't tell? Um,. Well, a lot of people in America like have moved from Australia, so I didn't want to. That's see. fair. That's fair. I'm glad you didn't assume my nationality. I appreciate that. I would have been very offended. Uh, yeah. Where on the East Coast are you exactly? Um, so somewhere in the middle. I, I don't say it live on stream. I've been doxxed before. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. That's cool. What does doxxed cool. mean? It means someone uh, goes out of their way to find your personal information and share it on the internet. Oh. Yeah, we don't want any uh, any guys stalking <laughs> Alex, so that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's totally fine. Not a that's fun totally time. <laughs> but uh, East Coast is a large area, so I think you're safe. That's, uh, that's good. Um, all right, Drea, what's your address? Where exactly are you from? <laughs> what's your mom's maiden name? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. around, no. Uh, well, I'm originally from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, mm, but nice. um, yep. I'm in Florida. Yes. Ah, Florida. No, I was just yes. there uh, the start of the year. It would have been around like, when was it? Around May-ish. I spent, uh, spent a month in Miami. A little bit of time in Tampa, but a month in Miami. So it's, mm. uh, it's a nice place. I like it there. I've been you to Miami to Disney? before. Yeah, did you like it, Betty? Um... It was interesting. It was an interesting, interesting place. All uh, right, what does interesting mean? I feel like you're being very mysterious on this call. What, what do you mean by interesting? What, what did you say? Uh, you said... Uh... You muted. You muted on the call. Control D <laughs> on your computer. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah, no, it has an echo. Right, yeah, but your mic uh, messed up. Oh, uh, no, it didn't say that. All right, let me just change my settings. Give me one second. Okay. It just sounds like your gain is up all the way. Yeah, I think it just like switched it mics. Yeah, it's not raining. It's very sunny. Give me one second. <laughs> uh, how about... Better, no. yes. That's no. perfect. All right, all right, <laughs> amazing. My mic unplugs and then it switches to my computer mic and it sounds like shit. So, sorry, Betty, you said uh, Miami was interesting. <clears throat> what was interesting it, about it? it um, just like a culture shock, you know, I come from a very, very small town in 
New Hampshire. So going to Miami, it was just totally different. And um, like all senses of the word. So yeah. Okay, that's fair. Dre, what do you think about uh, Miami? Uh, well, I'm a little bit far away from Miami. I'm in, uh, okay. in uh, Orlando, Florida. Yep. So, but Miami is okay. nice. I like the beach. Mm. You know, I like the vibe. People are always happy there. Mm. You know, like you have so many things to do. Everything is open to late. Like a good mm. place to visit. Yeah, I feel like the people there are crazy. I, I kind of like that. I like yeah, it. Yeah, everybody's crazy a little bit, right? At yeah, least they're having I think fun. It's Everyone yeah, and this, crazy. yeah, exactly. And there's a bit of a South American influence there. I think uh, that adds to the craziness. For sure. Yeah. Malik, what's your background though? You do not, like if you had me guessing where you were from, I would not say America. I was actually born in Florida. Honest. Oh, for real, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I right, lived nice. there for seven years. Okay. okay. And what about your background? Do you, are you American American? Uh, I am born in America and I've never left the country, but I'm Middle Eastern, Armenian, and Italian. Yeah, I was going to guess Persian. but uh, Yeah, a lot of people guess it. Persian. I mean, it's close. Yeah, it's like a little Iranian. Okay. Yeah, close enough, right? It's almost, yeah. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. All right. Happy days. Happy days. And uh, all right. Uh, do you guys have any other questions for me? Um, when's your birthday? Oh, okay. We're doing star signs. Is what's happening right now, Betty? No, I was just wondering when I'm supposed to buy you a present, you know? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's shit. good. That's good. Ma Malik, you got to lift your game, yo. Betty's good up <laughs> in here. I may have to. All right. I know. Okay. Uh, my birthday, October 16. But no one no one goes stalking me either, okay? Uh, October 16, Libra. Libra. I don't Libra, believe in Zodiac. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just <sighs> get that out there right now. That's fucked up. Why, why do you not believe in Malik? Well, because some of my close friends are Gemini's. They're assholes. Yeah. Don't no, they're not. I'm sorry. I'm, j I'm joking. I'm joking. What side um, do you think I am? Oh, you, you're giving off Leo energy. I'm not going to lie. I am? Getting some wow. Leo vibes over there. Wow. You, you got it right. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell. No, I, I was tell. joking. <laughs> Go some I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> Oh, Sagi, okay. No, I, I'm just fucking with you. I'm not, I'm not big on star signs, but I think it's hilarious to like uh, play around with it a little bit, right? Oh, 100%. Especially, especially when people are really into star signs, it's good to fuck with them a little bit. So, um, okay, so you're a Sagi, uh, Drea. This is going to okay, determine okay. if we continue our four-way date. So what, uh, what star sign are you? I'm Cancer. Oh, okay, that's amazing. That's actually perfect. Uh, I think we're meant to be very compatible. Uh, again, Malik, I'm just making this shit up, but we'll, we'll roll with it, yeah? Sounds good. All right, and Betty, did I get your, when, when's your birthday? September 3rd. Okay, so what are, you, what are you buying me? I'm curious now. Probably socks, because everybody loses socks when they do laundry, and I think that's a nice thing to do for people. You, you know me too well. Like Dobby. Do you know what I would buy, Marcus? <laughs> what, what would you buy me? I'm, I'm, I'm I dying would, to know. I, what, what do you do for work? Can I ask that first? Yeah, yeah. So I, I was explaining it before. So I have a business. So similar to Alex, we do dating coaching. And then we also have the sex coaching side of things as well. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to confirm. I'd buy you a green screen. I feel like with Ooh, the industry okay. you're in, you could get a lot of use out of that. Yeah, what would I pop up on my green screen? Um... That is true. I don't know, because you do more of like podcasty vibes. You know, if you yeah. were like a gaming streamer, you could have like a game behind. But I feel like you could find some use for it, okay? Yeah, on Zoom, I like to be in space. Like when I'm Zooming people, like when I have clients, I like to use the space background. I, I find that uh, entertaining. But I like your setup, yo. You got, uh, got some Christmas lights going and shit. You're like a, I do. I, I do. can't. My computer's too far away. I can't read what's on the blackboard or whiteboard back there. Oh, that, that's uh, my subscribers. You subscribe his names? Is that how it works? Yeah. So um, okay, cool. I, I did an event where um, for every subscriber I got, I had a stream for another five minutes. It went on for like three days. And every time someone subbed, I wrote their name there. Oh, and awesome. I'm, I've that's just cool. been lazy and haven't erased it. That's fair. All right. Uh, Drea. Yes. Very important question. What's what your are question? You, what are you getting me for my birthday? 
Because <laughs> so far I've got like socks. I've got a, <clears throat> I've got a cool green screen. I'm going to be up in space very soon with it. Uh, no, right. Alex, don't. No, no cock blocking. One second. What, I need to know which Ray's getting. No, no, no. I'll, give you, I'll give you another oh, two minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I needed to know. If we ended it there and I didn't know what I was getting Wait, for my birthday, I'd be so sad. Are you looking for a relationship or some sugar mamas? I'm confused. No, I'm looking for three sugar mamas, yo. <laughs> hey, we're going on a four-way so sugar mommy date. This is... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. But I'm curious. Uh, it says a lot about a person with their gifting style. So I appreciate your green screen. I think it's very thoughtful. But, uh, Drea. Wow. Let's be honest. You. They took the cake on that. I would go for drinks. And, you know, uh, like, we have a party. It's a fun party, right? Like, your fuck birthday, yeah. Are we, so we should be having fun. Are we, bringing, uh, are we bringing Betty and Malik? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Of course, everybody's excited, All right, perfect. Right? All on. right, perfect. All right, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm excited. Greg, can, I, can I ask your drink of choice? Oh, wow. Well, I, I tried it today, and I think it's going to be my favorite for now on. This is really good. I'm not into whiskey, but I tried something that you guys should try if you didn't. It calls, uh, I think it's like Crowball, something like that. It's like a, a whiskey with taste of peanut butter. It's like, oh, uh, it's really good. Damn. It's really good. It's really good. Yo, but, put peanut but I butter like in anything. Tequilas is good. Drinks, like sweet drinks. I like it. And But I also like wine. Red wine. Red wine. Red wine's good. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. prefer red and pink silver white. Yeah, it's red. It's the best. <laughs> and I also right, have so Italian it's... on my side too. So, <laughs> you know, like that's why I love it. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna have to bring Alex in as well. Alex I'm is joining us for wait there. The conversation will get a little uh, stale, so I had to jump on. Perfect. Uh, Thank you, man. Yeah. So, okay. So overall, I mean, I very much enjoyed that. The way, so typically the way we do this, since you guys, all four of you guys, are new to the format, I'll just quickly explain it. So after uh, we have a guest on, uh, we go one by one, ask the girls, would they? And you have to answer this question brutally, honestly, because it's important. Uh, not so much for Marcus, but for the regular guys to get accurate feedback. Uh, would you go on a second date with this person uh, if you guys were in the same city? So let's start off one by one with you, Betty. Um, if we were in the same city, would I go on a date with him? Uh -huh. Um. Well, how would he ask me? Marcus? <laughs> I'd say, hey, Betty. Well, where are you living? You're in Houston, right? I'm, I'm judging <laughs> no. by the last name there. No, I'm in no. Okay. Tired. Okay, so I'd say, hey, Betty, let's uh, let's go for a drink, me and you. It's going to be an amazing time. I would say, um, sorry, I don't drink. I haven't drank what? milk for a year. <laughs> do, do you like apple juice? Do you like juice? Um, Juice has a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is, your, what is your drink of choice, Betty? <laughs> I like sparkling Perhaps a nice bottle of water. Sparkling what water. What Oh, cool. yo. I know the best place for sparkling water. You're going to absolutely love it. It's going to change your life forever. Is it a natural spring coming from the Earth's surface? You, you're going to you're gonna have to wait to find out. It's going to change your life, though. Trust me. Oh, sounds like an adventure. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. So are we, are we going on this date when I'm in your city? Or no? Yes, but, uh, no, maybe. She, I, feel, I feel like she's been so mysterious this whole call. She's like, maybe I will. We'll see. Where are you maybe. leaning towards? Give us, give us a ballpark. All right, let's no, look. Wait, think oh, about you let's, let's, what, would you go on a second date with Marcus? Yes, no, maybe, potentially. But that would be our first date. Um I mean, yeah, I'd want to go drink sparkling water with Marcus. All right, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Uh, 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 yeah, looks, looks, sounds epic. All right, uh, Drea, what about yep. you? Yes, no, maybe? What is the first day first, you know? So I would see if I would go in the second. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> first first question, wait. like, would you go on a first date with him? Because I guess this doesn't really count as a date. So, would you go? Would, would you be just down to meet up with him and grab a drink with him? Like, or is he not really like you're not really feeling that? Yeah, no, I would. I would go for a drink. Cool. All right, and last but not least, Malik. Uh, yeah, like the conversation wasn't awkward at all. Like I thought we vibed the whole time. Sweet. 
Okay, cool. All right, three, three for three. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. You know what I was thinking would be a fun part too, because uh, a group setting is always different than a one-on-one -on -one setting. Marcus, do you want to pick one of the girls and go on a five-minute one-on-one date with them? Yeah, I think uh, let's go, Malik. Um, we'll do uh, we'll do our first proper e date. All right, cool. I'll okay. take me and the rest of the girls off for five minutes. Ah, oh, shit! It's just you and me now. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? What are we Damn. gonna do? I mean, oh, I'm live god, on stream, so I can't about? talk about that. You know. This is fucked up. You're live on stream. I am. Ah, that's awesome. How many? Uh, can I ask this? How many like viewers, subscribers? What What does that look like? Uh, so subscribers, um, I think we're at like, so Twitch is different than YouTube. Subscribers are members and followers are subscribers. If that makes sense. All right. You already confused me. That's okay. <laughs> um, no, that's cool. I'm almost at 5k followers. I oh, have shit, almost good. 400 subscriptions right now. We've got nice. 30 viewers. Yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, who who anyway, do you follow on? Who, oh, no, sorry, I had a question. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> no there's a I was bit of a say, delay. Let's talk about us, but but what was your question? Okay, that's fine. We'll talk about us. What, what do you want to know? Um, I want to know. Um, what what are you like off camera? Like what 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 do you like when you're not doing your work? When you're having your alone time? Okay. Uh, so yeah, outside of work, I, I'm usually pretty social. Like I'm somewhat outgoing, right? So. For me, when I'm not working, doing all that shit, I'm usually out with friends. So for example, like this, this weekend was like Thanksgiving, right? So I had a couple of American friends here in Sydney. We did like Thanksgiving dinner, we went out, partied, techno clubs. So I, yeah, like to, I like to enjoy life. You like techno? Don't say that. I do, I do. You do? Oof, yeah. okay, this is perfect. All right, I like this. Uh, so what do you get up to? What's... Uh, What's your um, life outside of Twitch, Malik? I, I'm super extroverted, so I'm always have to be surrounding myself with people, whether it's online or like at a bar or at a party. I just I love surrounding myself with people, meeting new people, hearing different people's perspectives on the world. Um, but when I'm not around people, I love working out, uh, working on my digital art, hiking and spending time with my family. Family is like the most important thing in my life. Awesome. You said digital art. What, is, what does do. that look like? Uh, what does it look like? Um, it depends on the day. Sometimes it may be an Among Us character with a big dick. Other days it may be like a pretty I girl. I love it. I love it. That's good. Do you have like know. an Instagram with your art? I, I don't. I don't. I don't oh. know why, but I don't post my art online. Okay. So there's no way of me seeing your art or the viewers seeing If you want to see the Among Cock, I can DM <coughs> with you afterwards. All right. That'll be sick. That'll be yeah, good. You can, so you what's can, your, like, what's your, your uh, Insta handle or something? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. I'll write it out. I'll write it in the chat. But what's, um, so what's your type then in a guy? What do you usually look for? Okay. Um, I usually just look for someone who has like similar morals and values with me because, um, honestly, any two people, um, if they have the same hobbies, same interests, whatever, any two people can date and get into a relationship, but it doesn't mean they can like have a life together. You know, I made mm -hmm. that mistake in my last relationship. Like we were so much alike as far as sense of humor, hobbies, you know, just fucking around and joking. But when it came to like what we want in our future and our morals and values, it was so different that it, it eventually tore us apart. So um, I just look for people who value family who um, have a lot of self-respect and self-love. Um, I think you can't really love and respect someone else unless you can love and respect yourself a lot. And, you know, someone who just wants to spread good in the world because um, there's too much hate, you know? Like, if you check all those boxes, you're good. It, it Bonus points if you're, like, Italian or Middle Eastern because, you know, I'm a narcissist and, like, you know, I like I like myself and other people. Um, but, but if you can check those boxes, like, you're compatible with me type shit. That's a very impressive answer. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, honestly, that's, that's most girls when you like ask, like, no, oh, I appreciate it. Because honestly, Matt, like most times when you ask a girl, like, what type of guys are you into? You get a range of answers, Six but most of them are like, tall and dick. funny. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the big dick is important. All right. So let's no, not mock not. that. But look, <laughs> if you have a chode, I'm here for you, King. Uh, you, you, you work it. I like it. Your, uh, your viewers Just are going to love you right now. Just make that thing work. And if you don't know how to, I'll teach you. No, that's true. Oh, you'll teach. 
See, I didn't take you for a teacher. I thought you'd wanted like a man that knew what the fuck he was doing. I used to, be to um, I used to have a nickname in college. Um, Tell me. It, it was teacher. Um, I'm just gonna say Malik instead of my first name. It was teacher yeah, Malik. Of course. Okay. And um, it was because I was very good at explaining things to other people, whether it was a new game or or like um, a class in college. But um, I, I asked people to stop calling me it because it, it just gave the wrong vibes, you know, like. All right, you know, but you I'm also were good at teaching sex. Is <laughs> that what you're trying to say? I'm very good at teaching. I'm very good at okay. teaching. That, that's all right, what I'm that's, saying. All right, well, maybe we need to hire you then. This is uh, this might work out. Have you it ever may, thought of doing may. sex coaching? Yeah, this, um, I have <laughs> come not. Join the team. Um, no, I, I haven't thought of getting into that industry. But I mean, hmm. you never know where life takes you. That's true. Yeah, so, I'm surprised. I would have thought, honestly, like because you come across as very, you're very confident. Right. Let's be honest. You're very confident. You're very sure of yourself. You're very outgoing. Like, I feel like you do have those high standards, but you kind of mentioned it all around like values and things like that. I, I oh, yeah. would have thought you would have had, maybe I'm wrong, right? But I, I can't see you with a very like shy and nervous guy that you have to Fuck teach no. or lead. Yeah, Fuck exactly. No. Like, like you I feel like you need a stronger, energy. yeah, exactly. You need someone like outgoing, strong, like, confident. If I want to go out, I don't want to pick you up on my back and like drag you to the bar. I want to no. be like chasing you. Yeah, exactly. You're like, come with me, sit down. This is what we're doing. We're going to have an amazing time. Yeah. You don't want a guy that's like, hey, so. We're driving to Florida now. Exactly. No question. Yeah, we're going. Don't yeah. pack, we'll buy clothes at Walmart. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Walmart. I don't know about Walmart, but I like it. No, well, not Walmart. Let's go. Target, but there you go. Yeah, okay. All right. You have a target in America. I didn't know that. I thought it was an Australian thing. We must have stole it from you. Oh, but no, yeah, the, that, that's a uh, red logo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I thought that was Australian. I, I'd never seen it in, in America. But that's <laughs> awesome. No, that's cool. I, uh, yeah, you got, uh, you got some high standards there. I like that. Appreciate of it. Of course, of course. I have high standards for myself. I'm disappointing myself every day. No. And I'm a great person. So, <laughs> so my standards right, are I, pretty damn high. All right. So I've got a very deep and uh, important question for you. Okay. Um, okay. I, I know I'm everyone's ready. watching. Okay. Um, okay. Malik, how old are you? I'm 22. I'm almost 23. Shit, you're young, you I'm very young. Well, that's good. I'm... <laughs> You're very confident for a 22 year old. It's kind of oh. like, I like it. <laughs> Thank you. How, how old are yeah. you, if you don't mind me asking? Okay. Oh, you can I guess. know you're older you, than me. I'll give you of um. course, of course. <laughs> one guess. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm going to say 32. What the fuck? Okay. That's impressive. Are you? Are you, are you stalking me? Did no, like I'm, I'm very good What's at guessing on people's here? age. <laughs> That's very good. That's very, yeah, exactly 32. Okay. 10 years, yeah, I mean. Let's yeah, call it nine number, years. I'm going to be 23 in two days. So I prefer the 10 year gap. It's kind of round. I'm like a decade older than you. It, it's kind of got a ring to it. I like that. Like the older I get, the less I care about age gaps. Yeah. I mean, look, as I was saying, oh, okay. All right. Sorry, Alex, uh, time, time just flies. Uh, all right, Malik, fly. so <laughs> how did you enjoy your one-on-one -on -one experience with uh, Marcus? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I did a video context for part of the chat and for the girls, I did a video where I rated the top five pickup artists. I put Marcus in the top five. And uh, I think he definitely deserves that title because uh, I am a big fan of like the very smooth, calm, like grounded type of approach. Uh, whereas as most pickup artists, they're a little bit like, oh, yeah, what's your favorite color? Uh, like they're kind of all over the place. So I think that's yeah. something Marcus down well. I took down a little bit of notes and then we can let Marcus give his thoughts. So uh, mainly I took notes on the group uh, interaction. So one thing that Marcus does pretty well is he's engaging all the girls. Uh, every time I see someone do a group date, they typically forget to leave some of the girls out and then the other two girls get bored and then the other two girls start basically taking over the chat and then you lose control of the whole group. So I've just seen that happen so many times. But at no point did Marcus really lose control of the group dynamic. Uh, he picked up on the fact that the vibe was a bit slow, which makes sense because it was just the first, you know, we were just starting and he didn't go in like super hard uh, versus if I when you watch like some of those Marcus Wienfields, it's like way more intense, right? So he's able to calibrate his energy. Uh, so that's good. You know, like the whole uh, what's your address thing. That's pretty good riffing off the joke. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I thought overall it was really solid. But I'll let you why don't you just break it out, right? Break it down right now, Marcus, like what you, you yep. were thinking, like what your strategy is, what your approach, both in a group dynamic and a one on one dynamic. Yeah, no, of course, I, I think there is something to be said about doing this online. I think it is going to be a little different in person, even with me 
having to, if I just said, hey guys, where are you from? I think it's hard to know who I'm actually speaking to. So a lot of the girls are waiting on each other and they don't want to speak over each other. So I think that, that's why it felt a little bit to me like it was like, okay, Malik, Betty, uh, uh, sorry, Andrea. And you had to kind of, well, Drea, sorry. You had to, <laughs> my bad, my bad. You had no, to <laughs> go from like one person to the other. Instead of a normal group conversation, it's going to be like, hey guys, where are you from? What are you guys up to? What do you do? So it had to be a little bit more uh, specific in that way. And I agree with what you said about not ignoring anyone. Even just for the small moment, I felt me and Betty started a conversation back and forth at the beginning. I had to kind of end that and then switch it back to someone else because I didn't want that feeling. I didn't want the feeling of, okay, I'm just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, yet we're all here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun. It was great. Um, I'm not sure if you have any other questions, but yeah. Um, well, I guess one question. So when, when, when like I watch your infield or like I remember we were hanging out in Poland like 2018, you're typically way more sexual from what I've seen. So mm, was it, uh, were, were you purposely being less sexual because it's like a virtual yeah. thing or because of mm. like something you picked up about the girl? Yeah, it's going to be a lot harder to go sexual when there's 30 people watching Malik on her and there's, I mean, I, I don't know how many people are watching this, but it's live on the internet. So girls are going to be much less likely to be receptive to sexual conversation um, so early on a live platform like this. Even if we're in person and they're around their friends, even if they're around their dad, I'll sexualize harder when the girl's in front of her dad, but I think it would be yeah, a little bit difficult boss. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so even with um, Betty, uh, when we're talking about the two to one, which I'm still not entirely sure. I mean, I was referring to orgasms. I was like, there should be 15 orgasms for you to one to the guy that comes. But I didn't want to say that um, during the live date because I was wary that, okay, there's, you know, however many guys watching this stream and there's a little bit more pressure and it's live. So it's going to be harder for the girls to be receptive to that. So I was aware and I kind of toned it or dialed it down a little bit than I usually would. Yeah, I, f I figured that was the case. But yeah, dude, mm. awesome. Thanks so much for coming on, dude. You're welcome anytime you want to jump on. No, I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. I, I respect what you're doing here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's good. Thanks, man. Yeah, for sure, dude. Have a good one, brother. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Duke has a tough act to follow. Let's bring on Duke. Yo. No, oh, maybe he needs a second. Yo, oh, there he is. What up, buddy? What's good? People, what's good, chat? Hey, ladies, how y'all doing? Doing good, how are you? You got, you got a tough act to follow, Duke. What? Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm ready to go. Let's go. We got three beautiful ladies here. I got Betty. Betty, I'm liking your pose real quick. You like you about the pose for uh, what do you call those auto, auto? What do you, what do you call those face shots, right? Profile shots, right? Selfies. Is that trying to? <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I got a little lost. <laughs> No, it's uh headshots. Yeah, you know how you do a little headshots for you in your acting, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Duke. So who are you uh who are you thinking? You want to go on date with one, two, three? Huh? Who do you want to go on date with? You want to go with all three? You want to do two? You want to do one? Uh shit, let's do all three of you guys. All right, for my sure. man. Cool. I'm gonna take myself off. Alone at last. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. Been one of Drea, nice Drea CrossFit. Okay, I like yeah. it. Betty and Malik. Whoa, Malik. I'm liking the whole getup you got going on back there. Thank you. You uh you in the you in the streaming and all that? Yeah, I'm a Twitch streamer. Yeah? Okay, what kind of content do you do? Um, I produce e dates, um, fashion contests, and other type of content like that, more reality type shows. Oh, so you already kind of e dates like kind of stuff like this. So already got yes. with it. Oh, that's what's up. So she's already <laughs> primed and ready. We about to get it today. Drea CrossFit. Hey, what's good? I'm, I'm gonna say, hey, listen. First of all, he, all three of you guys look so beautiful today. Matter of fact, I just feel so underdressed. But like, damn, uh, CrossFit. <laughs> what's up with that? Are you like, are you actually into CrossFit? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been CrossFit three years. I was telling the other guy, and you know, and now I just do my own workout. Just yeah. trying to do other things now. You started three years. What got yeah. you in? Do you uh, guys, do you guys, do you guys, any you guys do uh any kind of workouts like CrossFit or anything like that? I love sports. I do. I always did. Uh, yeah, I used to do a lot of calisthenics. 
calisthenics? Yeah, I had some health issues, but I'm getting back into it. Oh, shit. Damn, that sounds crazy. Yeah, that, like all it. body weight training. I don't like weights. How, how long have you been doing that for? Well, I started when I was like 15, and I did it like three years, like three hours a day. And I got like fit as fuck. And then like life just got crazy. And like I kind of fell out. Um, so I started picking it up again last year and then I had health issues and like, I'm trying to pick it back up. Wait, what you mean? Life got crazy. That sounds wild. Life got crazy. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Betty, what about you? Betty, I think you're muted. Am I mute? We can't hear you. <laughs> So CrossFit, that's what's up. All right. So both you guys are into fitness. So you stream, what kind of, what kind of, so E-Dates, is that why you got the whole Victorian? I feel like you about to get ready to get somebody a spanking for some. <laughs> 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 like somebody about to pop out no, of the no, curtains no, back no, there with no, a mask no, on. No, you no, about no, to spank. No. Hold on. Can, you, you know, can, I, can I see the whole outfit real quick? Oh God. I was hoping no one would ask. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be what? honest. You want to be date. honest. You, listen, listen. I'm wearing, I'm wearing PJ pants right now. Because oh, you know, oh, I'm trying to become no. yeah. <laughs> I was hoping no one would ask. Oh no. wait, I usually you... go ahead. What was that? Go ahead. No, I was gonna say I usually like will pawn a full outfit, but today I was like, man, I want to be comfy. The top is already uncomfortable enough. I was like, I'm not gonna put on two what would the, what would the what would the full outfit what would that normally look like? Um, I don't know, like it's winter now. So I've been wearing like a lot of like black gripped skinny jeans, uh, maybe like something like that, or like a black skirt. Black skinny jeans and a black skirt. Or or no. not both. You giving me like witchy vibes. <laughs> witchy? No, no, no. I'm not goth at all. No. Mm -mm. Drea, doesn't that look like a corsage? It, it reminds me of a corsage, right? Was she the top she has on? Yeah, like a corset. Or is that yeah. is that what it is? Listen, hey, listen, my uh, pardon my English. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Betty, how we doing with the mic, baby? No. Oh my God, Betty. Betty, you may this have to leave first and rejoin. I can't even hear your voice. Come on, girl. Like, damn. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get you right, Betty. Okay. All right, Drea. So, Crossfit. What else you got to do? What are you guys' hobbies? I mean, okay, we got two girls who are super into fitness. I'm loving that, as you can tell. Okay. Uh, what else? Like, what, 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 what we got here? This is fun. It's Drea, let's start with you. Oh, I like to go out um, with my friends. I do hike too. I do like to swim, go to the beach, enjoy the yeah. weather there when it's nice, you know. Um, I also like to visit like natural parks sometimes. Most of the time, like I go out, it's like here in Orlando, we go to parks, you know, that, that's my kind of fun, like outdoors. I like to do outdoor things. Your accent is very beautiful. Where are you from? Thank you. Well, I'm from Brazil. <laughs> oh, good old Brazil. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, I'm loving that. Uh, so swimming, damn. How do you are? Are you guys next to any coastal regions in Brazil? Do you like do any like what? What do you swim? Ocean? I'm I'm not really a geography major, so don't <laughs> don't don't come at me. But like, where do you go swim? <laughs> Typically, because I know Brazil is known for a lot of their geography. So, like, oh yeah, uh, I used to. Uh, no, no, right now I live in Florida, but I used to like go to Ipanema, oh, Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, Florida. Well, that, <laughs> <laughs> when that happened? When that move happened? Oh, uh, it's been almost thirteen years ago that I'm oh, here. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Damn. You mind me asking, like, where? So, thirteen years. What got you? What got you moving from Brazil? I came over here. I had a boyfriend that he was from Brazil too. So we used to see each other no. during seasons. Uh -huh. He had a home there, so he goes there. I came over here. I go there. I come over here until you know I Bam. stay, and we got together. Yep. All right. I think you we, we lost <laughs> we lost Betty halfway through. I think she's having some tech issues. Uh, whatever, she'll jump on when she can jump on. Uh, it was funny because for like two minutes, like I saw her mouth moving, but there was no words coming out. 
Dude, I swear, I thought oh, my. Oh, I feel so bad. Like I was like, damn, uh, am, I, am I mute? Can y'all hear me? Or... No, no, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I think there's a tech issue on her end. I'll message her. Uh, but yeah, anyway, cool. So same question as always, Malik. Would you, and be brutally honest, go on a second date with Duke? Okay. Um, if you're saying second, if this was first, I don't know. I feel like I didn't get to know him enough for a first date, so okay, I'd first, go. I'd, I'd go on a first date. Okay. okay. If if this was our first date though, and there was a second, maybe not, because I didn't get to know him that much. Okay, but you would go on a first date. Okay, I would go yeah. on a first date though. Okay, maybe, maybe you guys can go on a first date, and he can like tell you it was a second date, so it's just like okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Dre, would you go on a first date with Duke? First date, first date. Yeah, why not? First why date. not? I, I like <laughs> Dre's attitude. She's like, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Like, ah, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, I lift weights. What the fuck is he gonna do? Yeah, like, <laughs> across it. Hey, we gotta put some respect. Listen, listen. All right, that is a backbreaking sports. All right, and then once me and Dre get together, we gonna get to another backbreaking sports. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> All right, we got we, we got we got Betty back. Uh, Betty, I didn't get to spend time with you. What's going on, baby? Um, well, I was just figuring out this mic situation. I didn't do anything. It just just uh, you guys can hear me i was trying to spit game and you guys just couldn't hear it i, I think i won the pickup game uh yes you successfully picked up malik malik said she's very dtf for you so you uh <laughs> you, you you get the prize yep. really what did i miss when i was gone you, you, get, you get to put uh you're gonna her name your name is gonna be on her board it's gonna be like all red half slot it's gonna be like <laughs> betty daddy or something like that so yeah you won. Oh, talk to me nice, baby girl. Yeah. Look, look at that. <laughs> you get to be on the board. Huh? Oh, I'm now on the board. Yeah. Bam. Thank you. Look at that. Uh, no, okay. So I, I don't know if it would be fair to ask you the question because you got kicked off like halfway through. So that yeah, like you didn't really get a chance to interact with Duke. But all right, Duke. Uh, so I did this with Marcus. Might as well do it with you. Uh, let's do a one-on-one -on -one date. So which one of these three girls do you want to go on like a five-minute one-on-one date with? Shit, let's 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 go with Betty, man. Uh, Betty looks intriguing. I feel like I feel like if I get in a room with Betty, we can just like narrate my life or something. I don't know. Like she's got that look for it. It's just exquisite. Let's go, Betty. Come on, with Betty. Okay, as long as she doesn't have tech issues. All right, cool. I'll take everyone else off for a few minutes. Hello. All right, alone at last. How are we doing, baby? I'm doing swell. How are you doing today? Good, good. So, all right, Betty, tell me yes. about yes. yourself, okay? You're, you're coming over here with the turtleneck, you know, the beautiful pose. Like, I'm I'm loving your overall vibe right now. I ain't going to cap. All right, so who are you? Where, 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 are you where are you from? Let's start with that. So I grew up in Maine. Um, I live in New Hampshire. All the way up there in Maine? Yeah. I do. Oh shit. Okay. Um. So that's where I grew up, and then I make music. So I travel a lot, and um. So that's fun. Okay. What kind yeah. of music do you make? Like pop music. Like pop music. I'm a huge fan of pop. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I smoke pop. a ton of pop. Oh, pop music. Oh. I'm <laughs> Too, you know okay all right are you are you like what do you what do you do like do you do the beats on the beats on the things like do you get into the soul the so rhythm, the or are you like singing and, i write the songs and sing them i knew it yeah i knew it i knew you were a writer i something about you just scream just like just art baby like i knew it okay so all right you write your own songs and you sing them where where, where are you at are you on spotify you on um, so right now I only have a YouTube video, but I'm coming out with an album really soon and I'm, I'm releasing a single at the end of next month. Oh shit. Yeah. Wow. So the music video did really well. And then, um, so now I am like making an album. Okay. All right. Listen, I gotta, I gotta ask a question. So you're 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 from Maine. Are you still are you still in Maine? Is that I'm in New right now. New Hampshire. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, I was gonna say because I was like, what was a lot going up in Maine? But I I had to remember I'm from Wisconsin, so you know, there's. You there's are. Not... 
Yeah, you got cheese you're heads and cows. Right now. Huh? You're in Wisconsin right now. Yeah. I've always wanted to go to Wisconsin um, because I hear they have the best cheese, and I we love do. cheese. Yeah. We need, Betty. We got all the cheese. All right, you listen. Oh. Listen, hey, listen. As long as you want, I, I come on down here. I fly you down here. We can then go go to the cheese farm. You know what I'm saying? Winter's coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like you got the snow and you know Santa because we don't have snow down here like in Madison yet, which is crazy. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, is that is that so? It's not like we're not we're not getting that traditional Christmas feel. But like, listen, I think you and I are gonna have a very very warm Christmas coming on down. But like, what do you want to do in Wisconsin? Like, what do you eat cheese? Just just cheese? <laughs> no, and uh, <laughs> maybe like go we got cheese in parks. Do you like the hike? Yeah, I love hiking. Perfect. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab some we grab some cheese. All right. We're gonna go out back. I got Governor Nelson State Park right back here. I used to go hiking over there, you know, summertime. I get like six month pass, not six month pass, three month pass, right? So we go there, get some cheese, go on a nice hike, and you know, we'll talk about some shit. Maybe you I don't know, sing some of your lyrics, sing along the way. Well that sounds pretty fun. I'm kind of upset I didn't get involved. Oh, no, 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 Alex, I'm talking to Betty. I like cheese and I like What's hiking. Uh kind of <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of biased. Uh, all right. <laughs> nope, we lost Betty again. We're losing Betty. Betty. Wisconsin cheese is overrated. You're going into slow motion. What? There you are. I'm going in slow motion? No, no, Betty is. Betty. Yeah. There you are. Okay, cool. Uh, what, uh, you got, well, hang on. I got to meet you for a second. You got some, like, really bad tracking. No, it's it's not on Betty's end. Uh, it, it's not on Duke's end. Let me see. I'm gonna meet people one by one. Yeah, it was Andrea's end. Okay. Yeah, Andrea, you got some. Okay, there we go. It's gone now. All right, Betty, would you go on a second date with Duke and be brutally honest? Betty's in her own universe right now. Betty, we can't. Yeah, we can't hear you. And Duke, you're muted as well. No, um, I, I was I was here like static. I don't know if yeah, that was we, we fixed it. The issue's gone. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I didn't know who it was. All right, cool. All right, Betty. Here, I, Betty, I think you might want to uh, log. I think you're you're having uh, issues with your phone, which is kind of what I was worried about happening. Uh, why don't you? I know you said your camera on your computer isn't as good, but I think that's probably going to be better than like you lagging in and out. So why don't you try uh, clicking that link on your computer, and we'll see if it looks really bad. We can go back to the phone. But yeah, you're like lagging really, really bad right now. I don't even know if she can hear me. I think yeah. she's. All right. Are you talking to me, oh, Betty? No, Betty, Betty, you're good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to take Betty off for a second while she fixes this. Uh, wait, we need her response, though. Would you, would you go on a second date with Duke, Betty? No. Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, Duke. <laughs> For Betty. <laughs> Betty has the most mischievous smile I've ever seen. She looks like she looks like she's tripping on shrooms or something. <laughs> The shrooms are kicking in. All right, Betty, log, log we can't hear you. Log in on your uh, computer, please. Uh, I'll take you off for a second because it's the lag is there. But yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> I guess we never got an answer. But I feel like I feel like the answer would have been yes. Yeah. Although I guess I guess we don't. Yeah, we really don't know. Maybe she was just fake having tech issues because she didn't want to say no. I mean, that would be the most intricate way of getting out of like <laughs> saying no is just like by pretending like your phone is lagging like oh like what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah uh all right cool awesome thank you duke appreciate you yeah of course of course all right buddy have a good one all right cool let's keep the party moving let's bring on johnny k yo what's up alex how you doing yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Yo, Mala, do your speed dates go like this, or are they totally different? No, it's it's totally different. And um, the individuals um, are usually um, the type of people you don't expect to ever run into in your life. You know, 
like like kind of like creature people or yes okay so so, so far every guy right. i've met tonight has been pretty normal which is which is pretty um it gives me hope for humanity oh. So I, I kind of lost it. <laughs> mostly guys, they're like, <laughs> your boobs are nice. <laughs> literally. Okay. Literally. It scares me sometimes. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Malik, do you go on a date with the guys or like who goes on the dates with them? Oh, I would never touch any of them with a six foot pole. Um, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I usually host. I used to go on shows, but um, I, I like hosting more now than you know being being on there up for um i don't like being a prize you know it's yeah. just it's not my vibe sometimes i'll still do it it just depends you're being you're being exposed to a whole new audience i guess tonight uh, i am and and i i love it so far no, no creature people as of yet no creature oh. people yet <laughs> all right yeah. johnny i know johnny pretty well <laughs> i know he's not a creature person uh but yeah cool so johnny you want to go on date with one of them both of them um, to be honest, could you bring me back on when Betty gets back on? I wanted to go on it with her and her tech issues are fucked. Yeah. Although I don't know if that is going to happen because she seems like really out of it. Uh, so I would put that like a 50, 50 in all honesty. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll just wait like 10. Could you bring me back on like 10 minutes and if she's not yeah, on? Sure. Then... Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Honestly, Johnny, cool. wait, I can cuss right, Alex. Yeah, of course. <laughs> honestly, Johnny, <laughs> fuck you. If right. Betty doesn't come back, I hope you stay single. Oh. You don't want me. You don't want me. You've made it clear, so I don't want you. I don't want you, even if you change your mind. Is it? Is it a thing it is. For like you three at first? Whoever gets picked first, like when uh, Marcus is on, it was like, well, actually, no, he picked all three of you. Fuck, I was no, Johnny. You literally just said me and Drea like don't interest you, so you want to leave the show. Don't you literally wait. said that. So don't bye, do sayonara. Have a great single life. Thank you. It's been You're going welcome. pretty well right now. I would I would have picked uh, Molly just so I can be on her little board. Her little board. <laughs> her little board Alex, do you want to be on my board? Yeah, I'll erase the whole thing and put just Alex. Oh, I would love that. That'd be Should I? Nice. Should I do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I didn't catch that. What is on the board? Is your, oh, is your subscribers my, and shit. My subscribers. Yeah. Okay, let me take a picture of it. And then uh, I'm going to erase it for you, Alex. Oh, I appreciate that. I love it. See, this is what you missed out on, Johnny. I know I would have went on with Drea actually because good. You're from... <laughs> good. She seems a lot more mature than me, so that's a smart choice. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> my my life was already mean with you, that's why you picked me. Yeah, I'm toxic. <laughs> yeah, All right, Johnny, we'll uh we'll we'll we'll, so, we'll circle you back. Uh, we'll uh you know we'll we'll see if you can recover from this in ten minutes. I'll uh I'll let you back on. With Drea. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's bring on the next guy. Oh, shit. She's erasing the board. Yeah. The whole oh. thing for you. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Use those <laughs> small. I need a bigger eraser. <laughs> eraser strokes. Small girl, small eraser. Wow, you're calling me small. You know what? I'm going to call you small. There we go. Look at that. Erasing everything. Oh, we got Betty back. Hello. Betty's back. Hey, Betty. Betty, are you are you with us? Betty. Real, re reality is happening. <laughs> are, you, are you in this world, Betty? <laughs> I can't hear anything. Oh, no. Okay. Well, well we can't listen to her. Yeah. You can't hear anything? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. No, yeah. uh, Be Ma Betty, I think you have to log in on your computer because your your phone is glitching. Or try restarting your phone. Try re restarting the phone. You know, just shut down and then create it. Yes, there we go. I wonder what's going to happen first. Is uh, going to finish erasing her board, or is Betty going to fix her text issues? Oh, I think Molly, Molly got the double. Yeah, okay. let's look at let's see this happening. Yeah. Look at that. All right. While we uh, while we wait for that, let's add Raul on. Yo, what up, Raul? Damn, everyone's having tech issues today. Raul, you're muted. 
Raul. Nope, can't hear you. Uh, I'm going to take you off while you fix your shit. Um, let's bring on uh, Cortez. Yo. What's up, What's up? Oh, there you are. All right, cool. Your, your shit is working. Good, good, good. It is working now. I just, I just had a stream, I guess, a, a series of guests with uh, tech issues. But, uh, yeah, so uh, who do you want to go on a date with? Uh, obviously, me and Malik are, you know, pretty serious now that she's putting my name on her thing. So yeah. I think she's, like, sort of off the market. But, you know, I'm not a jealous type, so I'll allow it. <laughs> nah, I'm going to go with Drea. I'm a okay. CrossFit kind of guy. All right, cool. Good. I'll take me and Malik off for a few minutes. <laughs> How are you, Drea? How are you? I am uh, fantastic right now. I'm laying down here on my couch. I got candles lit. Drinking some wine, you know what I mean? Living it up. What are you doing? I'm good. I'm just relaxing too. Yeah. Waiting for another day. <laughs> oh, aren't we all? So, 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 what's the shirt from? Is it like soccer or something like that? Soccer shirt? That's a Brazilian shirt, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're playing the World Cup, but we already won the first game, so. Yeah, I don't know nothing about football. So. Soccer, no, soccer. Only American. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Would you play any sports? Oh, uh, I might run track and field. Okay. One hundred meter runner. I'm, I'm quite quite fast. How, how how many minutes you say that you do the mile? No, no, it's not a mile. It's four hundred meters. It's like one lap around the track. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And that's like around fifty one seconds around there. That that's what I'm. Oh, that's fast. <laughs> yeah. So. uh what do you like to do? What's fun to you? Besides work out, um, I yeah, like, besides I, lifting those weights, I like I like roller coasters. I like outdoors. I'm more like adventure person. Like roller, yeah. You said roller coasters. You know, yes. it's funny. I, I literally just came from uh, Universal, and I went on the. You, you you ever been on the Velocicoaster coaster over there? Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Boy, that, that's my favorite one. I was just like, I never been on there. It was, not, it was like so fast. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, oh. that one, that one, and the guitar, uh, the Aerosmith guitar, and at Disney, um, Hollywood Studios. I like that yeah. one too. It's good. You said the guitar? In the, the yeah, Aerosmith guitar, the rock roller coaster. And uh, Disney uh, Hollywood Studios. Yeah, uh, I never heard of the guitar one. Um, no, it's, a, it's like an inside like, a roller like, like like this too. There, there's one that's like kind of like a mountain that's really high, and then after you got the Lost Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that that one is fun. Yeah. So you live so in we, Florida. Yeah, I do. I do live in Florida, but I'm in Georgia at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, oh, what's your biggest fear? I don't know. I don't have to do any fear, I guess. Nothing that comes out of my mind right now. I mean, yeah. I normally try to confront them. Yeah. Hey, I'll call you goddamn Hercules, fearless. <laughs> no, fearless, no. fearless woman. Hey, hey if, if any challenges come, I'll call uh, Drea. She'll handle it. What, what is your fear? So is it my fear? Yeah. Is is becoming a, a fat slob laying in my house eating chips. Wow, but this is only would be a fear if you if you don't work out or you if you don't go for it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I don't yeah. I don't worry about it. <laughs> just keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, it's not something you worry about, it's just something that's there. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of guys are you into? Um I like you know, guys that know what they want, that don't play games, you know, guys that are, that have their life together, you know, also, like, that is respectful, that treat me good, you know? Yeah. That, you know I, that, I, that I can introduce to my family and be proud, you know, like, you know, it's not going to curse or do anything embarrassing, you know, like, of course, you know, when you get to know the person, it's fine. But, you know, for, for me, the first, the first, like, meetings are the ones that, like, I go and check, you know, I I, I have my list of things that I would not, yeah, not they, accept. 
they gotta meet <laughs> the checklist. They gotta be like well, tick, 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 tick. Yeah, I mean, after some time, you know, you, it's just easy. You, you know, so you don't, so you kind of uh, like don't waste your time again. Yeah, I definitely would not qualify because I curse a lot. So that would be like, I'll probably you, you, you curse me, a lot. You're like, nice to meet you, motherfucker. Uh, no, no, no. I don't don't get me wrong. I do curse too, but you know, like okay. when I'm like, if I'm seeing you for the first time, you know, like maybe I will not. I would more like getting to know you, you know, instead like try to look too cool, you know. <laughs> All right, Drea. So same question as always. Would you go on be honest on a second day with Cortez? Yeah, he's cool. He's a cool guy. Why not? Damn, Drea's just down down for whatever. <laughs> No, I mean, like a date it doesn't mean that I'm gonna do anything. I mean, they like I would go and, with a friend to a date, you know. Like, no, 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 Dre, like, you, you have to have at least three children with the person you go on a date with. So, that's oh no, no, so no, I'm sorry, but no, no, three children. <laughs> no, just, just to be clear, <laughs> it, it, too it, much it, for <laughs> no, I'm, I'm obviously kidding about that, but no, it's I it know. is in a romantic context, so it's not like a friend date, it's like a romantic date. That's 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 the question. So maybe I should have restated that. So it's in a romantic context. Would you? It doesn't mean you have to like have sex with the guy. It's just like, would you be open to having a romantic experience with the guy? I don't know. I don't know. One, just one talk is like not for, for me. It was not too much. Not enough to get to know him. You know, like we spoke what five minutes. Okay, you're kind of <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think uh, Cortez could improve on? And this is uh, feel free to jump in on this uh, as well, Malik. Like, what do you think he did right? What do you think he did wrong? No, he's uh, he likes you know adventure things too. So you see that he's a fun person, you know, not boring. He he doesn't like to be couch potato, you know. That he like he told me that um, he likes to work out as well, you know. So these are like topics that are interesting, you know, because. The thing is, after a relationship, like you, when you get into the routine and you're just home, you gotta keep like bringing new ideas of things to do, so you don't get bored, you know, with being with this person for so long and having nothing else to do. Wait, let's take yeah. a second and admire uh, Malik's uh, new background. I, I don't know what's something feels a little different about it, but I don't know. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of a fan. I think this is <laughs> a, it's a good look. Yeah, whoever this Alex from Playing with Fire is, he seems like he's a dope guy. If he can. Be <laughs> A little whiteboard um yeah i mean here's here's kind of what my feedback i wrote down a few things i probably wouldn't ask the question like what is your biggest fear uh i don't know i feel like that can come off weird um it did feel like the vibe was a bit low at times kind of like low energy uh but it wasn't terrible so yeah i don't know if you uh girls have anything to add to that um i mean i thought it was all right it was just like dry you know i'm just being blunt <laughs> combo could have been way more interesting it wasn't yeah. bad but it could have been better yeah that's kind of how i felt it was it was a little like kind of like low energy kind of type of thing it Dry, was like small energy. talk yeah it's the same thing basically yeah yep uh cool but awesome always appreciate you cortez yeah i always appreciate you coming on all right take care buddy <laughs> Oh, look who we have. So I thought it would be really funny if Johnny went on a date with Malik and see if he can turn it around. So I, I talked him into it. And the good thing yeah. about being a host is that I can make people do the things that I want to do. So we're going to make I it happen. to get great content from this. <laughs> Not going to lie. Oh, I don't know. I think I think, I think, I think it could go well. Um, all right. I'm going to take me and Dre off for uh, Malik, what's up? How's it going so far? Um, honestly, my night was doing really well until I met you. Oh fuck! <laughs> Why? Just because I didn't want you? No, you just you just seemed um, I don't know. Bad vibes. Bad vibes is I'm a Libra. Wait, you said you weren't into that? I literally don't give a fuck. Good, good. I'm math major. I don't fucking like that shit either. What do you wait? What do you do though? What do I do? Yeah, you're like a full time streamer. Yeah. Yeah, you want to do that forever? No, I, I have other things that I do as well. What do you do? What do I do? I real estate investment. Oh, shit. That money. Yeah, I'm too high value for you. I mean, you sold out. I feel that. It's kind of cool, though. <laughs> At least you're going to have money. I sold out? Yeah. Sold out what? What I sell? Like, I feel like real estate is not fun, but you're just going to make a lot of money. Nice assumption, bro. <laughs> all right for sure for sure 
Well, let me see your background though. Like not the Alex from playing with fire. You got like Christmas lights up. Yeah. Already. Well, actually, Thanksgiving just. What, what, what's hanging on your? Is that your wind? Is that a towel? Well, what's behind you? Um, there's a tapestry right here. No, I wasn't asking about that. It looks like you have a towel hanging on your wall. Um. Oh, right here is uh like that on the window. It's a yeah. Curtain. What the fuck? Why? Why, why I have a curtain on my window? Yeah, like I've never seen anyone just drape a towel up with like two nine inch nails. <laughs> it's it's literally a curtain my, my parents gave it to me because I don't know. They just visited. But why is it hanging like that? Oh, because I never use it. I love to have it. I have huge windows here. It's amazing. So people you, you should you should put it up properly. Yeah, you want me to do it? Yeah, do it right now. All right, only if you verbally direct me. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. So are you saying you're very submissive and you need a woman to tell you what to do? No, I'm saying I want to hear if your voice can turn me on or not. I don't want to turn you on. That's disgusting. Yeah, who who likes being turned on? Fucking terrible. Hate that. Are you good? Are you depressed? Mm, no. You seem like you, you may have some underlying issues that I'm not qualified to discuss with you. Wait, what kind, though? Tell me. I don't know. I'm not a therapist, man. I don't have that certificate. What did you say earlier? That, that's a good assumption you made there. I don't Thank know. you. I, well, all right. I study mathematics. So <laughs> if there's anything so, you're about, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm not even going to comment. You've said enough on that. Like, yikes. Um, but uh, bitch, fix to the fucking tapestry behind you or the towel or curtain, whatever it's called. Huh? I said, fix it now. Be better than that. You're not going to get me. You got to be like here. Come on. Babe. I got to be there. You want me to fucking scream at you? Yeah. Why don't we just like say, bitch, fix it. Like that? Yeah. But I like, apologize to anyone. Do it, do it even a little bit more aggressively. A I little mean, more like, aggressive? Yeah. No, I don't think I will. Mm -mm. <laughs> Damn. I guess it's just going to be fucked forever. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been to Indiana? Yeah, I actually have. It's the most boring state. It's just flat and nothing. You're telling me. They actually, yeah, I did just there, tell you. There is one good place, though. It, well, two. I go to college here in Indiana. And then there's also, you know, Gary, Indiana? Yeah, that's a really miserable town where they pay people like 7000 to move there or some shit. Damn. <laughs> city. You Thanks. are being mean to poor Johnny. I'm I being mean. You. Hey, this is a master class on how to uh, look. I, I already made it clear I was uninterested. I just had to make it more clear for those who didn't um realize <laughs> Alex. Um yeah, it, it totally flew over my head. I I when you, when, you, when you said I'm not interested, I what I really thought you meant was like, oh my god, I want to fuck this guy. So yeah, just, oh absolutely. Yeah, I was thinking too. That over my head. So there, this was a very interesting uh, little experiment. I'm trying to think how I would handle that situation myself. Like when the girl is like really just like unhappy with you. Uh, I don't think you did a bad job. Uh, I'm I trying think to that's think. That's where you abort mission and realize. Like, <laughs> I think that's where you abort mission. You can, yeah. but, but sometimes it's more interesting not to abort. I've had situations where I've had girls who were like really, really pissed at me, and I was able to turn around. I think what I would do is I would, I think I would definitely acknowledge like the elephant in the room, and I think I would be like, "Look, listen, you're clearly not happy about that. How long are you going to hold a grudge against me? Like, are we going to do this for a two minute grudge, five minute grudge?" I don't think I would change topics until I was able to address the issue. So I would handle it almost like a debate in some that's way. Good, that's a good way to go about it, actually. Like I would have to, I would get her to verbally commit to moving on and be like, listen, like, okay, I fucked up. Maybe you fucked up a little bit. Can we move on now? And like, until she verbally acknowledges that Aww. she's moving on, I don't think I would. I would keep pressing it over and over again instead of changing the topic. So I think that's how I would approach it. It was just so petty. I didn't really think it mattered. It's like, imagine if she thought one of my friends was attractive and then he had a girlfriend. Like, then she likes me. Like, I don't care. That's fine with me. It's just so petty uh -huh. that, like, I wanted a different girl. And then she was, like, mad about Oh, so you're it. calling me petty. I'm petty. <sighs> wow. I wow. said the way you're acting is petty. No, I think you said I'm petty, but that's okay. I can let you backtrack. For sure. Apology you unaccepted. This grudge against me forever, or are you just like gonna let it go? Oh, I, this may be permanent. 
Mm, interesting. <laughs> like, you all right, got, you all right. got my bad side. Malik, do you ever do debates? I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of have a feeling the way you uh, verbalize some things. Yeah, it'd, be fun, it'd be fun to get you on for a debate, uh, although I don't know if we actually disagree about anything. Uh, what do you think about that little performance, Drea? Oh, wow. That was intense. You know, she put him in his place. <laughs> he, yeah. he tried her at the beginning, you know, and he cut it out. Wow, that's right. You know? Yeah, I would, I would definitely, like, categorize Malik as a little bit of a brat. Do you think that's accurate, Malik? Um... I think I can be a, as a general categorization, cater, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. I would say generally no, but I can be. Do you, okay, here's here's the question. Do you enjoy testing men just oh, for the Oh, uh, 1,000%, 1,000%. <laughs> yeah. That puts, yeah, you're, you're a brat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brat, brats really enjoy testing men and they're, and it's like, it, they don't, they're, there's not a specific reason they do, they just get a pleasure out of it. <laughs> If that's you, then you're a brat. Yeah, maybe, maybe. There's, there's a lot of brats right? out there. It's a, big, you, it's a big group. When I did Malik, my video, what? Did I, did I, what? I was, I was going to ask Malik what she thought. I thought it was kind of fun, to be honest. I don't give a fuck. You had fun? Yeah. You, you had fun getting degraded and yelled at by a woman on the internet? Yeah, I'm, like, so confident and comfortable with myself that I find it amusing. That's good for you. Yeah. I'm glad I amused you. Yes, you did. She says that with like a like a ninety percent serious, ten percent kidding face. I'm glad I amused you. <laughs> yeah, good one, Malik. You got him. Um, all right, cool, awesome, Johnny. Thanks. Always appreciated. Um, oh, yeah, I was gonna. I definitely put you in a very tough situation. I'll fully acknowledge that. Sometimes I like to do that because it's. Uh, I do these things all day, every day, so it kind of keeps me uh, entertained. But I think overall, you did better than most guys. Uh, but yeah, those situations are really tough. And like, if you haven't experienced it, it's like, you know, you're not going to know what to do. But yeah, that's kind of for the chat and for you, for anyone. That's probably how I would approach it is I would just be like very much like, like just press the issue until the girl is able to move on. And then you can transition instead of just transitioning right away. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it, too. Also, like from before, it's hard to sexualize. It's hard to do a lot of things. And like I wasn't going to sexualize, obviously, but it's very difficult to get her to switch her frame. Just yeah, you can't, you can't sexualize when you're getting non-compliant. So there's no, no way. Like, yeah. like I was I was saying that it's difficult to sexualize because we're on camera getting recorded live. It's difficult to get. A Why? Girl I thought you're confident. Oh, my goodness. Stop. All right. I'm talking. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, to, his, to his point, Marcus said the exact same thing. It is, it's a, it's tough if you don't do what I do. So it, if you're like in my shoes, it's not that tough. But if you're new to like the whole online That's thing, it's really tough. If you're not yeah. used to the dynamic, because there's pressure, because there's pe there's 207 people watching. But like, if you if you deal with that all the time, then it's just like, when I first did a live stream, I was like pretty nervous. But now I've just done so many, it just like doesn't affect me. Uh, yeah, first time, but yeah, what I was saying is that it's difficult to do that. It's difficult to get her to change her frame already that there's so many people watching. She doesn't want to look like, I don't know. It's, it's no, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. I think uh, there are ways. I think you can quite often get people to change their frame. But there's there, there are times when there's just like too much friction and it's not possible. I don't I don't really have an answer if this is such a situation. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? No, nah, game beats all. I'll figure yeah. it out. Maybe I'll piss off Malik later on in the stream, and then I'll. Uh, we'll, we'll there do you. I'm gonna have to erase this if you do. Oh shit! Yeah, that's true. I have a. I have an incentive to be nice now. Damn, she got she got me where it hurts my ego. Uh, all right, cool, awesome, Johnny. Appreciate you, buddy. I was, I was gonna say chat. Also, if you have any ideas how you can like deal with the situation, put it in the chat. I want to see what you got. I'm I'm gonna say like Johnny. Just... Like, I'll I'll stop being toxic for a second. Um, thank you. And just say that like. You could have dealt with me better um, where you could have at least like said something else than, you know, like put me in my place because that just added to the fire. You know, like if you actually wanted to try to like flip it around, you should have tried to either make a joke or um, like Alex said, like address the issue that I'm angry at you and not just like, oh, like tell me what to do like more firmly because I would have and, and I tried to and that's just going to make me more heated. 
we would yeah we would honestly have a good time just arguing because i'm pretty combative combative as well you didn't see me you also seemed very like beta no i don't know i don't, I don't think johnny's beta but he he is a fairly like pleasant he's back to being toxic <laughs> he's not like, not saying you're a beta person just the way you acted in that situation wasn't uh very like i don't know like wasn't very dominant i don't i don't think that's true at all but that's cool i don't think anyone else thinks that either I think I think he did better than like ninety percent of the guys. He didn't crumble, which in of itself is pretty impressive because I think most guys would crumble. Uh, he wasn't That's able true. to he wasn't able to turn it around. Uh, it but it's it's a very interesting like tough type of situation. I like what Marcus says. You could confidently tell her, I "Love your attitude." If I knew you were this confident, I would have picked you first. So yeah, that's like a nice little frame control. I agree with that. Like it's like a nice like oh, fuck. I love the fire. If I knew you were this fucking feisty i would have picked you first right you're kind of making a joke out of the whole situation so yeah i think that's pretty good there, there's more than one ways to uh skin a cat if you know what i mean uh very true yeah cool all right this guy can't stop asking this question let's just answer what math do you study johnny this uh, guy's obsessed with you yeah so i'm trying to go for my phd in mathematics and just abstract i'm not doing any applied i just very much enjoy abstract mathematics i might go into something with uh algebra but I'm not completely sure yet, to be honest. Okay, this guy can finally bust a nut. All right, cool, awesome. Thank you, John. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, my chat is pretty hilarious. Uh, all right, let's add on. Ooh, we got four people backstage. So many choices. Uh, let's add Miguel. Nope, you're muted. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. We are. We can hear you. All right, all right, cool. Um, all right, well, I think Mal Malik looks interesting. You got you got your you got your sunglasses on in the dark. Yeah, I got hit in the eye earlier today. Calvin Harris. Wait, can oh, I sorry. see it? I want to see your battle wounds. No, no, it's in like the inside of the eye, and it hurts because I have my lights on. It like it hurts. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not trying to be weird. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I don't know how anyone after watching all that could be like, yeah, you know, Malik. Yeah, she's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, teach their own. Let's see what happens. Sure. Hey, how you doing? I'm I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. What does Malik mean? Uh, it actually means angel in Armenian. Oh, are you an angel? Yeah. Um. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Like Luc Not Lucifer always. was an angel. That's true. Right. That's very <laughs> true. Yeah, I like your um, I like your computer. Is did you build that yourself? It's, yeah, and it's obnoxious. I, I I've had this strip flashing for like a year and a half. I need to unplug it, but I've been like too lazy to. Yeah, good. It's thing, always uh, flashing twenty four seven. You gotta give a flash warning for people with epilepsy. I mean, they can just close their eyes. Right, right. But I think I have like the exact same one. Uh, yeah, I don't want to turn my camera around because it's like I put in a bunch of boxes, so it's kind of weird. But I think that's like a Lee and Lee model. But anyways, mm. yeah, I don't know. It seems yeah. like the same. Yeah. Right. Um. So what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I like to create content. So I, I'm starting to get into content creation. What type uh, like, of content creation? Like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. But like, what, what type of content do you create on social media? S so on Instagram and TikTok, I do a lot of like dancing stuff. Um, so I do a lot of the trends because I, I like I teach how to do like bachata and stuff. Wait, like that. can Even you do a dance for me? Myself. You can't say uh, you're a dancer and not dance. Nah, you gotta you get up go, and dance. You, can, you have you to. Can go to. No, you gotta go to Instagram and, and show no. it right now. Like, no, I'm telling I'm, you, my I'm, eyes are fucked up, man. I'm a, I'm gonna be. Your fucking eyes fun. fucked up. What does your eye have to do? You don't dance with your eyes. Yeah, like you need coordination. Yeah, you can go to my Instagram and check it out. No. Or, or better yet, I'll show you on my. If on you win page. me over, I will. But but you got okay. you gotta. So what else do you do other than dancing? For sure. And then yeah, I just started my YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, that one. So I, I just got. I try to like uh, help guys with uh, uh, like getting over like divorce and stuff like that. So, yeah, I got married pretty young, and then I got a divorce. So. Oh shit! How young were you yeah. when you got married? I was twenty-two. Oh yeah. shit! And how old are you now? Uh, 36. And how yeah. long did the relationship last? Uh, like 11 years. Oh, that's, so, a, that's yeah. a long time, though. That's more than a I decade. I know, yeah, but it was like a big deal. Like, it's a long story, but um, 
but yeah, I don't want to get into it. But yeah, I kind of like I help guys going over that and a lot of issues. And uh, I also have a niche. I, I don't know if it's I don't know if, uh, how you're gonna take this, but I also do a lot of videos on um, what's called PE, like dick enlargement, penis enlargement. <laughs> Uh, and so, but yeah, it's interesting, you know, just a lot of things that I have, I have uh, experienced. Not on YouTube or TikTok, right? Like, so we're on the same page, like on, on other platforms, on YouTube? Yeah, but you just use like, you just use like a dildo, you know, you don't have, you don't have uh -huh. to show your real thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You can go to OnlyFans for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, that's like my specialty. That's yeah. your specialty is, is penis enlargement videos? Yeah, and dating or after a divorce. So, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've blown me away, man. Blown me away. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's kind of, it's a little bit weird. What about you? You, you, uh, what, what kind of content do you make? Um, I do just chatting category on Twitch. Um, I'll do e dates, talk shows, podcasts, um, all sorts of crazy shit. Cool. And like, I, you... I both produce and guest on other people's shows. Oh, okay. So you produce. Yeah. So uh, I'll, like I'll host them and then I'll like be a guest if other people are streaming. Kind of like today where um Alex invited me to do his show. That's cool. How many followers do you have? Um, About uh, 5K, but I don't think followers like I, I, I try not to get in my head too much about numbers. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. I guess so because I, I obsess over numbers. How long have you been doing that? Um, I've been, numbers. I've been yeah. on the platform for three years, but I quit my corporate job to do this full time uh, the end of August. No way. Crazy. That's like the same thing as me. Like I, I used to be in the corporate world, uh, but I quit it just to start doing content creation. So it's crazy. All right. Uh, penis um, all right. Uh, Molly, same question <laughs> as always. Would you go on a second date with Miguel? Or no. First date? No. Okay. Cool. What uh, uh, what do you think he could improve on? Um, I think you know maybe. I don't know. He just seemed like a little on the negative side. Um, like I'm not trying to be mean, but it was just like very like not positive vibes. Like, um, the helping people through divorce and shit was like great. But it didn't seem like in a positive way. It seemed almost a, in like, oh, we can be depressed together. Um, I don't know. It was just like, mm. you know. <laughs> I feel me. mean for saying that, but I'm just being honest. No, you're good. We want honesty. Uh, so uh, here's my <laughs> feedback. It did seem like you were nervous. Uh, I could kind of pick up on that. And I think the girls picked up on that too. Uh, she definitely took control of the frame. Like, within maybe 30 seconds she was leading the conversation uh for example like with little things like when she's like oh do a dance for me like the way i would respond to that would be like okay the ladies first right so then you kind of put the onus back on her right so if she wants you to do something then she has to do it first right and then like at that point what's she gonna do she's gonna be like oh i'm not gonna do it and you're gonna be like oh come on you're being a party pooper where you're gonna you just should have but you can't take it right something like that so then you kind of flip mm -hmm. the onus back on the girl um also laughing at your own jokes can come off as a sign of like insecurity or lack of confidence so just uh be uh, mindful of that um but yeah cool do you have any uh, <clears throat> other thoughts drea uh well same thing i think like he i don't know the conversation it's just i i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't go out the second day sorry okay. yeah well i think i think like you know nervousness is like something we can all pick up on on a very intuitive level so when someone is nervous we assume that it's because there's something wrong or they have something to hide even though that's typically not the case like typically yeah. typically there's nothing wrong with a person that don't have anything to hide but it just like sets off like a weird reaction in our brain when we sense like nervousness or anxiety so you can like literally get away with saying like the dumbest shit if you're like super confident about it uh like you can just literally say the dumbest fucking shit ever as That's long as you fact. say it with massive confidence i've just seen this like time and time again um but yeah cool all right awesome thank you miguel appreciate you peace thanks take care buddy yeah all right who else we got we got mr robot this should be interesting Hello. i'm Ooh. so sorry uh i have to make a phone call real quick i'm just gonna mute for a sec yeah you're good mm -hmm. mr oh. robot hey guys what's up what's going on yeah, i'm hey. good i'm good 
Yeah, so to be honest, I had planned to go on a date with, well, to be honest, I, I wanted to go on a date with Drea first because I, I love the Brazilian vibe. I wanted to talk about World Cup and stuff. However, because I want to be on Malik's board, I wanted to go on a date with Malik. Bro, the board is off limits. Like, <laughs> come on. There's, the there's always, there's, there's, I could always, you know, there's always room for a coup. There, there's no room. Look, my name is very big. Alex, it's a lot of <laughs> it's four letters, man. Like, I don't think there's any room for Mr. Robot next to Alex. <laughs> no. Well, no, I'll see. fuck around. Who do, you, who do you want to go on? So, you want to go with Malik or? Yeah, Dre? Malik, or Malik, Malik. All right, cool. I'm going to take me and, uh, uh, Malik is muted right now. I think she's on a call. I don't know what she's doing, or she's just talking. Oh, my bad. I didn't unmute here. <laughs> um, bro, if you want to get on my board, like, that's pretty toxic. I thought you were here for me and Drea, <laughs> not for a whiteboard. Right. I'm going to be straight up about it. Don't worry. You know, I, I like that confident vibe. Okay, I'm here for you, bro. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm here for you, Malik. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to take me and Drea off for a few minutes. So hey, how are you doing? How's your day going? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Pretty good, yeah. Um, how, how's they going? You know, defeating those losers, conquering lands. What else have you conquered? What lands have I conquered? Yeah. Um, today I conquered getting out of bed, um, and drinking water, and yeah. um. Drinking yeah. water? You did, you did it two liters a day, thing? No, I actually haven't been drinking any water at all. I've just been pretty dehydrated. You can probably tell from my voice. So I have water with me today. And like in aluminum recyclable cup, because these are awesome. Oh, my shit's empty. Well, same. Same. I, I, I do have that as well. I actually like your background. So what do you, what do, you do for work? I'm curious. I'm a full-time Twitch streamer. Oh. And how about yourself? Uh, I connect people. That's what I do. So are you a pimp? Oh, no, 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 not that. I develop apps that connect people. Oh, okay. Like, um, can you be specific? Like, what's an app you've developed? No, don't worry, don't worry about it. I'm just don't worry a, about just it. A, I'm, just, I'm just a software engineer. That's the okay, part. okay. That, that, that's better. The main part is I'm a software engineer. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm curious. You, you've been within this broad streamlight for a while now. At what point do you know where you should start shitting on a guy, usually? At one point, do I know when I should start shitting on a guy? Yeah. Um, if they're being toxic, I gotta put them in their place. I don't take disrespect. You know? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Like, don't disrespect me, and we are good. Unless I ask you to, and then you can. <laughs> okay. At so what point can I disrespect you then? You gotta earn that right. Oh, we're talking about privileges now. Interesting. Of course. Of what? course. What 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 gets me on the on the earning category? Even though I probably are probably already there, but what gets you me you gotta prove to me that you respect me before you're allowed to sarcastically disrespect me. Oh, that, that actually makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. So I was listening to your last stream about you know what you look out for in a guy, and this mm -hmm. shows my respect. And I was able to determine that you said values is the more important thing. So values, I'm, curious, yeah. I'm curious what your morals and values are like on the general level. Like um, honesty is extremely important to me. Family is extremely important, um, and communication. I think those are the top three like most important things. If you can't be honest, if you can't communicate, and if family is not important to you, stay away from me. So do you have like a sign that says honesty? Wait, what's HC? Honesty, communication, and family. Well, that's actually good. No, I uh, don't. Oh, you don't? Oh. I don't need a sign because, like, that's that's what's like really true to me. Do you, do you have a checklist? Like, it's not too? something I need to remember. It's something I know. Do, do you have a checklist too, like Drea? You don't, you don't have a checklist. I don't have a checklist, like, because if I made a checklist, I'm sure there's multiple people who can <laughs> check out the boxes. <laughs> oh. But like, why would I? Like, I, I I don't look at life like a Google Doc. Wait. Okay. So what what is a Google Doc to you? <laughs> a Google Doc is like I don't know, like like you have to check all these boxes and then you pass the test and like you can be my boyfriend. No, fuck that. Oh, so like a a challenge in, in a way. So in, in the sense of our values, honesty, and communication, like actually apart from so apart from that, in terms of surface level stuff, right? What what's your surface level vibes usually? 
Like in the confidence. Job. Okay. Yeah. Confidence. Um, if you're funny, if you can make me laugh and I'm not doing all the talking and guiding the conversation, you know that's a bonus. Interesting. Fair for sure. But for real though, I do like I do like your outfit. Like uh like Joke said. It definitely got me confused a little bit because I, I don't like that. And I think that's like quite interesting. What what's in the background on the left? Is that like what? that? What's in the background? Like that's just beeping lights. This? No, the other, the other stuff. Up there. Oh, this. This is my obnoxious PC. I'm sorry. I have it like uncovered today. Yeah, do you want me to fix it? No, I like, know how to fix problem? it. I built it. I've just been too lazy to take it apart and fix like it. Like you, you build out from scratch. Yeah, Did I you... just bought some new fans for it. When I put in the new fans, I'm gonna fix the the LED strip and shit. Wait, so, so do you like take on the like the super masculine role? You fix everything. You know how to like handle everything. Is that is that your is that your vibe? Um. I mean, I don't like using the word masculine because, like, anyone can fix a car or, like, butcher a deer or go hunting or, like, build a PC. I don't think that's a masculine thing to do. I butcher think, a deer? Great. That, that, I think that, being that, masculine is, like, just, like, taking the leading role, you know, not fixing shit. Have, have you butchered a deer? Yeah. Legit? Or how? Yes. Come on. Tell me. What was the starting process? I ate the liver raw, too. Just like okay, you, you, caveman style. Uh, okay, interested. I think I think clearly that's that's, that's clearly the way. Is that where you get your pure confidence from? You're like screw all those guys. I'm eating fucking livers. Fuck no, party. get out of here. Is that how you it was just it was just like one of those in the moment like spontaneous things. Like I was with my brother. We were butchering the deer together, and both of us were like, I've never had raw liver. We're like, why don't we just try it? So we just like. I have a video. I'm not going to show it live on stream because that's blood, and that's against community guidelines. But yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, it's all sounds so, so, so about fun as as you described it. All right, look, look who's back, Betty. Yo, hello, Betty. Oh. Oh, yeah. Betty's alive. Hi guys. How's it going? Um, my phone died, but it was plugged in, so I didn't know that that could happen. So it was like slowly dying as. We were all trying to converse, but now I'm back. We were we were real concerned about you, Betty. Oh. Uh, okay, Malik. So, uh, same question as always. Would you go on a second date with Mr. Robot or first date? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'd I'd say. Fuck, I don't want to say no just because I feel like we could talk about some other things, but I'm going to say no because if we did talk about other things, I feel like they'd be topics I brought it up, you know? So you felt like you didn't, like, take the lead enough? I, I felt like I did all the talking and I didn't learn much about him. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, do any of your girls have any other feedback? Um, I don't think you guys should talk about liver on a first date. I don't know. That just seems repulsive. I mean, I was just trying to imagine Malik in her little, like, bandana outfit in the woods, like, fucking, like, trying to, like, fucking, I don't know, cut up a deer. Like, ah. Nah. No uh, bandana. Do you just have a t-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> right. Do you have anything to add to that, Drea? Oh, yes. So when I was telling about the, you know, qualifications, it was not, like, Mark checking bots or anything. It's just, like, things that I wouldn't tolerate in the first day that I w- would not make me want to to see the person again it's just like you catch red flags in the first day and you just you know why i'm gonna waste my time going again things like that okay yeah, that's fun. yeah i think i think you did okay um it did feel like she kind of led the conversation a little bit so i do think you have to lead a little bit more uh you know there's many ways to like redirect a conversation like when a girl i don't know i'm trying to remember like what exactly happened um I don't know, like, when she started talking about the deer, it could be like, oh, damn, I didn't take you for a big hunter type, you know? Uh, you know, you just, like, start asking questions, stuff like that, uh, and try to find things that you can, like, bond over. Be like, oh, cool. You know, we have so much in common. I watch Joe Rogan, so there we go. You know, you can, like, make a joke out of shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that would be kind of how what I would do. But, yeah, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Robot. Appreciate you. All right. He was such a sweet person. It's just, like, I don't know. I just felt like he was too shy. 
Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of guys are. But I think it's important for them to get like brutally honest feedback. So, uh, okay. Johnny wa- is back and he wants to, he wants a little Betty. Hi. Betty, I am so happy you came back on. All right. So we're, let's uh, let's make this happen as a as a, my way of uh, I guess uh, I don't know making it up to Johnny so as to speak. Although I don't feel like I <laughs> really did anything wrong, but like the chat is trying to guilt me. Uh, but anyway, cool. I'm gonna take everyone off for a few minutes. Betty, what the fuck is up? Well, my phone died when I came on here before. So, uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Were you Were you watching it all? Meanwhile, no, my phone died. Damn. Yeah. No, everyone's wondering. Did you smoke before this? Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> you did. It's um, all good. I fucking knew it. Yeah, so how's your day going? <laughs> it's going good. It's going good. It was, uh, I go to Indiana University. Have you ever been to, you know what that is? I've been to Indianapolis once. Ooh, what'd you go for? Um, To say that I've been to Indiana. Um, I was near the border and I said, oh, well, I might as well just, you know, go. Oh, yeah. Indianapolis is fun. It's like the Indy 500. You know about that? Yeah, I've never been to that, but maybe I'll go back just for the occasion. Yeah, you could take me, although I don't know if I'm big in a NASCAR. Yeah, I never really understood the draw to watch people drive in circles 500 times in a row. Yeah, what do you what are you into? You're big into music, right? Yeah, music. I love painting, art. Um, well, can you show me one of your? Do you have any accessible right now paintings? Um, yeah, actually. I want to see. I love art. Yeah. Wait. Do we have to be quiet right now? No. Didn't want to wake up a roommate or something. Damn, you have a big house. What the fuck? Um. Yeah. Um. Okay. This so, is Utah. I like it. Damn, I've never been to Utah. It's one of the most beautiful states because the south is like red rock and then like the top is like snowy rock. So I combine them in the painting. Damn, I like it. Betty, you know you're very likable. Do you think <laughs> whole, so? Yeah, whole, whole chat is ge- geeked about you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, I do- if you guys are in the New England area um, and aren't doing anything on New Year's, uh, we should all celebrate life and accomplishments and blessings. Mm. Yeah, like around New Year's? Yeah. Mm, okay. I mean, I think that I could make a trip, possibly. Where do we go? You want to go out to bars? Is that what you said earlier? I don't know um, anything. All right. How about New Year's? We'll go out to the... How close is New England to New York? Like, you know the ball it drops? Yeah. um, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually... (laughs) Because when you go to New York City for the ball drop, um, there's, like, a lot of risks during that. Um... (laughs) <laughs> like, like, think about it. Like, if you go, um, like, first of all, um, <laughs> like, where are you gonna use the bathroom? Like, and there's all those people in the way. Like, what if you like? And people are gonna be drinking a lot. Like, so. Yo, actually, I feel like you've thought about this before. I've never thought I about really it. have. I've because I've lived so close to it and I'm always like, do I want to go this year? Oh, Alex, you should let me give like one more minute with her. Do it, but while while we wait here. All right, okay. fine. Yo, yeah, I was gonna say we should go and see the ball drop, but 
I also saw a tattoo on your arm. I wanted to see what that was on your forearm. This one? Uh, no, the other one. This one? Yes, that one. It's an hourglass. Can I? Can you put it up to the camera? I want to see. Wait, go. Yeah. Oh damn! I used to draw hourglasses when I was super young. Like I said, I'm very into art. Wait, I, I, I I was kind of multitasking. What was the answer when you asked her like if she's hot? What was the answer to that? She plugged the <laughs> <fish. That's laughs> The whole the whole chat is speculating what you're high on. Uh, I'm guessing my guess personally, if I had to, <laughs> would be like either shrooms or acid. No, 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 not acid, not shrooms. Just you know, just the, a little bit. The Mary Chuanas. Okay, yeah, I guess it hit some people <laughs> pretty hard. Um, all right, so Betty, would you? <laughs> the question is, would you go on a second date with Jody? Um, I think we're watching the ball drop soon. Yeah, and then yeah. if you play your cards right, you can watch his balls drop. I was gonna make that joke, but I thought it was mildly inappropriate, and I'm trying to keep my my rep G rated. <laughs> I was thinking that the whole time. Me too. I was like, <laughs> do I make this? Yeah, this is this is PWF. You can make the most inappropriate fucked up jokes ever. Uh all right, cool. Well, that's a, that's a W there, Johnny. Oh, so, <laughs> it all worked out in the end. Look how that goes. See? No. Yeah. Maybe I won't be. Yeah, me and Malik. Damn, you might Johnny, you me. know what's good about you is you knew what you wanted, and you weren't going to settle for less. Betty was what you wanted, and you got it. Yeah, very true. Johnny, Johnny wanted a little Betty. <laughs> Why did you want me, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> because, like, you're, you're so likable. I told you that. Like, I don't know. You're adorable. You seem like that. a very, very innocent, like, like, good-hearted stoner. Like, you just walk around and like give people hugs and shit. Like, you're like, hey man, you want some ice cream? Like, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I just try to be nice to everyone. Betty, yeah. do you do you have like Instagram or? Yeah, it's yeah. Betty Houston. All right, I'm gonna DM you on there, and then I'm gonna get your phone number because I don't use Instagram that much. Okay. And then we can watch the ball drop. <laughs> or maybe, maybe other balls will drop. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank or you, John. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, let's bring on this guy. I love this dude. Hugh. Hugh. Hello? Yo, what up? What up? Oh, shit. My cam's not on, is it? Nope. No. What about now? Yep. So back, back in the dark. Dude, I always am. What do you want from me, Alex? I can't, I can't, I can't supplicate to you. You've already destroyed enough dudes tonight. <laughs> uh, so who do you want to go on date with? Let's go with Malik. Okay. Cool. I'll take uh I'll take everyone else off. All right. <laughs> Why me? Why am I your victim? Victim, mm -hmm. do, do you know about the 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 serial killing? By chance? which one? The one that I partake in. Did, did um, somebody did somebody let you in on an? Am I gonna secret? find out? I mean, you <laughs> might. If you if you piss me off, if you treat me like you did to Johnny, then you might be my next victim. I mean, come for me. I live in the south. I'm close enough. I'm Midwest. I'll make I'll make the trip. But Malik, Malik is how you say it, correct? No. <laughs> oh, so I trolled you a little bit. How do you say it then? It's Malik. Malik. Oh, I was listening earlier when I was at work. You said something. It means angel? Yeah. That's total fucking bullshit. Yeah, sure. That's total bullshit. What kind of angel would treat somebody like you did, Johnny? You did my man horribly. Um. Yeah, I kind of did. Let bygones be bygones, right? How how will our love survive if if that happens? If that um, ever happens, if we ever have an argument or falling out, how is that? It's how are we gonna get work. through it? We're gonna talk. We're gonna communicate. Are Are you more of a communicator, or are you the kind of girl 100%. that? Are you the kind of girl that if you have an argument, the man has to just you know kind of like 
smack you a couple of times. Like, no, nah, because get listen, you back to your senses. No, nah, when I was like younger, I used to think like, why can't he read me? Like, I'm upset. He should know exactly what I'm thinking. That's bullshit. Yeah. Men are stupid. You gotta whoa, tell them what's whoa, wrong. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Slow no, no. down Hold there, cowgirl. Slow down there, cowgirl. I'm gonna rope you in right now, okay? And you'd probably like the rope, but I'm gonna rope you in figuratively now. Okay. Men are not stupid, okay? No, they're men mis- are they're misguided. Men they're are misguided. stupid when it comes to women's emotions. They don't know what's going on up there. They're misguided. They're, they're not misguided stupid. exactly. That's why I have to guide you and tell you every way you fucked up and why you upset me. If we're ever in an argument. Well, you won't have to tell me anything. I'm not okay. an argumentative guy. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Same. I mean, no, but like, I wish I was. You wish you were I a fight, fighter? but it's like it's out of love. I fight out of love. Oh, so you're okay. I, I won't go there. But also I was curious about what you're wearing. Like that's that's kind of an, an odd attire for your Sunday night, don't you think? Um I guess you're <laughs> you're, you're you're streaming for a male audience probably. So you're kinda <laughs> you're you're turning some heads right now. Am I did I turn maybe your maybe, head? maybe more than one head, if you know what I mean. That was, I thought that was a good ass joke. <laughs> was it? Was it? It was fantastic. Like, like the ambivalence between that cross necklace and the <laughs> skimpy getup you got on right now is like astronomical. How, like, only you, only oh. you could justify pulling this off. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really try. It's, it doesn't work on me. You, you're not fooling me. I'm Malik. not. You're not. Not at all. Not in the slightest. What would, what would fool you? Nothing. I'm impenetrable, impregnable. <laughs> well, I would hope you're impenetrable. I'm a pseudo I'm not killer. Trying to I have sociopathic you. traits. That's kind of hot. You ever heard of a knife fetish? A knife fetish? I'm pretty sure I heard something about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. I don't with, know about their fetishes. relationship. Their relationship is whack. Like, I'm not trying to drink my partner's blood or nothing. But like, well, that's good. H- HIV hot. is a pretty big killer. I heard. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Not, knives are hot though. I, I I don't know if you're being serious or not. No, no, I. I uh... <laughs> it, it, that might that might be why you're sort of playing into the serial killer vibe right now. You're, you're going along with it. There's something. Like, I there's something I just I don't believe you because like, dude, I I'm a stupid woman. I think serial killers can't be hot and attractive. So if you're hot or attractive, you're not actually trying to kill me, you know? And if I end up dying, I guess that was my fault for being stupid. Right. But you, you just contradicted yourself, though. Maybe. A little bit. Are, 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 you, a little, are you a little flustered right now? Are you, are you a little out of it? I don't you, think you, I'm flustered kinda, right you're, now. You're, you're I just think I'm always out of right it. Now. You're like outside of your body right now. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm schizo. And, and I don't know why. I took a schizo test yesterday because I was actually curious. I got like, <laughs> and I what tried to take it with? honestly. I had, like scored like at the top, and I was like, "Damn, I guess I'm schizo." No, it sounds like a match made in heaven to me. Are you schizo? No, I'm just the sociopath. <laughs> Damn, I don't like sociopaths. You can be my partner in crime and then you could take the blame for it, but you'd never know that I put you in that situation because I wouldn't know you would do it without my consent. Well, if you're schizo, you don't know what consent is in that regard. <laughs> no. The voices will tell you no. one thing. The voices are telling me I should run. <laughs> right now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get up, get up. Give give a little twirl in the camera first, and then then run um, run out that way. No, I don't think so. You you sound like one of my horny viewers right now. That's what I'm going for. That doesn't you sound work like on you? the. Oh, I think you dropped something behind you. It, it doesn't work on you though. The, um, the horny depends, horny Twitch it, viewers. No, typically not. Damn. Do they pay you good money though? See why? Why can't I? Why can't that I? That depends if it works or not. <laughs> you know, that's the determining factor. If I believe that there's something behind me. See, I just, I just don't think any of what you're putting out on the internet now is really you. Oh, I don't, you don't. I, no, I don't. What do you think I'm really like? Well, I don't know. That's kind of the point of these, you know. 
I just heard about what a date is a couple of days ago. I thought you're supposed to like really get to know somebody on these, not yeah. like fuck with them. <laughs> Dude, I enjoyed that so much. Uh, yeah, it's so fun. Like having little Hugh become my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm old news. You know, I'm 32 years old. My, my life is behind me. You know, I'm going to have married to have kids, but I need, uh, I'm have you kind of be my avatar. Uh, I'll, I'll be your adoptive son. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Malik, uh, would you go on a second date with Hugh? I mean, as long as he doesn't kill me, sure. <laughs> That's part Dude. of the surprise. Do you agree? Hey, hey all women have murder. a little bit of an adventurous <laughs> wild side. They like the they like the danger of possibly getting murdered. But at least you'll never know. <laughs> but you know what's uh, funny? You'll never see it coming. I think he's Archie watching Maxim. so much Netflix. <laughs> You know what's funny that Malik said that uh, someone in the chat picked up on, and I picked up on as well. Uh, she said it as a joke, but it's definitely true too. And she's like, "Well, I'm a girl, so I think that if a guy is hot, then he can't be a serial killer." And that is so true. Like that is hundred percent true. Like all you have to <laughs> get away as a serial killer is just be really good looking. Like if you look at Ted Bundy, he got away with it forever. Like no one, like no one thought it was him when the signs were like so obviously there. And that's just because motherfucker was good looking. So it definitely does give you like. Uh, a very nice aura of protection. Yeah, like if he looked like a creature and was saying that shit, dude, I would have ran. What kind of creature? Well, wait, okay, yeah, you're 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 getting into in the murky water here, Malik. Well, that's my point. Mm -hmm. I don't think you came from murky there's water. A, there's a lot. There's a lot of creatures in murky water. Mm -hmm. What kind of creature are we talking, Malik? Um, there's some creatures on the internet that you. The don't one that encounter. you're seeing right now, Betty. I may be one of those creatures. <laughs> Yo, no, dude, you, yeah. you don't. You definitely don't like. No, I know exactly what she's talking about. The creatures. <laughs> I, I, I experienced them when I debate like the black pillars. We're talking about like people who just like, yeah, like they're, yeah, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> kind of I know, I know exactly what she's talking about. It's like the dudes with the neck beards, and they like, they're kind of like skinny fat, and they. They always of, have the weird camera angles too. Yeah, they always have weird camera angles. A really weird background. Looks like they're in like their mom's basement. Typically always shirtless. Wait, wait, Alex, Alex, you're just describing me right now. <laughs> you literally nah. said this like multiple weeks ago. Nah, nah, you wouldn't fall under the creature category. Mom's basement, serial killer. Yeah, you're in your know, mom's basement, but you don't, you don't, you don't. Uh, you're like like you I don't, I don't have basement privileges. She put me in the cellar. But you're pretty. <laughs> uh, you're very like socially in tune and charismatic, so that by default. Takes you out of the creature character uh, stop, category. Stop, stop, Alex. Yeah. Please. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I thought I thought you did really well. Um, you know, you had her giggling like a lot, which is good. Whenever you see a girl giggling, that's that's a really good sign. Uh, you know, especially at the silly serial killer part. If you, I don't know what was so funny about and giggle, that. You can make it clap and jiggle. Words of wisdom, like right there. Words of wisdom, right there. Uh, but yeah, cool, awesome. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye, bye. Right here. Oh my god, he loves me. Uh all right, let's do like one or two <laughs> people and then we'll wrap up. Oh, this dude. Back by popular demand. What's up? <laughs> What's going on, brother? Hey. Russian Poppy Greg. That's Greg. the name. Yeah. Privet. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. We got a Russian spy in here. <laughs> my favorite. Privet. Yeah. yeah. Some well, me, and Greg both speak, me and Greg both speak Russian fluently, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what are you thinking, Greg? I'm thinking uh, Dre, actually, because I heard some nice Russian. So I'm going to follow along. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's all All it takes is a preview. All right, cool. I'm going to yeah, take I know. That's all I got. <laughs> take everyone else off for a few minutes. Yeah. I like that. Love it first, preview. So yeah, tell me about the. You? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you just know Privyet, right? Yes, I have actually like um, some Russian friends and mm -hmm. Ukrainian friends, and they like they taught me some words, but well, all I can remember was Privyet. Privyet yeah. Kaktua. Well. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go, Kogdila. Like, how are you? Yeah. That's, yes. That's, uh, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Rio, um, Brazil. Oh. Yeah, Rio. Yeah, but, okay. Yeah, have you been to South America? I have not, but I always wanted to go. I know a few words in Portuguese. I know Bom Dia Sex 2, I think. I know if I said that correctly. Bom, bom Dia. Bom, bom Dia and Sex uh -huh. Yeah. And then, what is the other one? Wait, it's like, uh, you're like, uh, good morning, like looking forward to the weekend. Bom Dia Sex 2, or how do you pronounce that? 
Mm, I don't know. The, the, the sex, too, I don't know if they thought it true, right? But <laughs> you think they taught me wrong? <laughs> I think I they were turned me up over here. Oh no, maybe bon dia, como vai você? Like, how are you? Wait, say that again. That sounded really sexy. Say that one more time. Bon dia, like, good morning. How are uh -huh. you? Como vai você? Oh, that's awesome. I like that. You're gonna have to yeah. teach me more. <laughs> I'm gonna fly over to Brazil. We're gonna have a romantic date, eat some acai. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't have to fly to Brazil because I'm in Florida. <laughs> You're in Florida? Gotcha. Yeah. Tell me some good uh, acai spots in Florida. Well, where are you? Where you are? I'm in uh, Philly, Philadelphia. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it has a plaza here that has the best acai, yeah. like Brazilian acai. And they got put, like fruits and all. Ooh, everything, yeah. like all the toppings. And they got some nice beaches in Florida, too. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go for the acai, and then we're going to go to the nude beach, and we're going to do some CrossFit. Ah, oh, that sounds like a, a cool day. Yeah, I think so, too. So it seems you're going to take a wild guess that you're passionate about CrossFit. Yeah, I do like a workout. It's like, yeah, for me, it's like coach. take a shower. You got to do it every day. Yeah? You know? Oh, I like that. <laughs> do you do CrossFit in the shower, though? No, no, no. It's like take a shower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like something that you got to do every day. Not just CrossFit, yeah. but exercise in general. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's uh, something that I really like and enjoy. Like mm -hmm. a person to go out with me has to be somebody that is into sports as well. Like so I don't I, do couch potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You need like, you know, an exotic uh, Russian male stripper who happens to be into sports. I got the right guy for you. <laughs> Oh, really? You <laughs> oh, a surprise. A little I bit. would never imagine. You look yeah, like a saint. You some Russian as well. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you know, I can uh, whisper uh, Russian in your ear very seductively. Uh, say something then. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. But you got to say please. Por favor. Oh, <laughs> she said it. Oh, que rico. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll say, uh, what do you want me to say? Oh, wow. What is yeah, that? Like it? Spicy? Just throw it right out. <laughs> what did you say? I, <laughs> what What do you want me to say? Like, literally, verbatim. Yeah. And okay. I like that. So you speak uh, Spanish as well, right? I do. I speak Portuguese, Spanish, and English, and a little bit Italian. Oh, I got to work on my Spanish. Uh, you know, I got some gringo espanol. Necesito practicar mucho. Oh, necesito practicar, entonces puede hablar conmigo. Sí, uh, oh, <laughs> and also, no, uh, me gusta comer las papas fritas todos los días or something. <laughs> like french fries every day. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're great. You like french fries? I do. Yeah. What's your favorite mm. way to eat them, though? I like, wow, well, I like the Chick fil A ones. They're Ooh. the best. Chick-fil-A, yeah. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A uh, yeah, fries. Like Chick-fil-A, too. All right, perfect. We're going to Chick-fil-A. We got acai, <laughs> nude beach, and Chick-fil-A. Roman cool. Mucho romantico. Mucho romantico. Yeah? You like how that sounds? Uh, then we got to go to the... Um, to the um, have you been to Texas de Brazil or Fogo de Chão? I have not. You'd have to uh, tell me some more. I'm interested. Like the barbecue grills, they go and cut oh, the Oh, like the barbecue? Yeah. Ooh, oh, nice. the Brazilian yeah. barbecue. Okay. Yes. You're making me hungry just talking about it. <laughs> oh, you guys don't have it up there, like a, res a Brazilian restaurant? I'm we sure do, do, but they're very hard to find. Like the good Brazilian steakhouse is really hard to come by. But I heard the food is like amazing. Uh, yeah, it's really but, good. Yeah. What are some other like Brazilian dishes that you like to eat? Mm, yeah, well, the main thing there in Brazil is like most of barbecue and mm -hmm. they eat like close, uh, like very similar Spanish food to like rice and beans. Yeah, el pollo and, or like and arroz or like how, is it, how do you say chicken and rice? Arroz y feijão. <laughs> oh, I like that spicy. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. That, that looked like you went pretty well. Uh, Drea, would you go on a second date with uh, Russian Poppy? Russian pop is fine. Yes, this this one I would. Okay. All right. There we go. Yeah, Greg is getting better. I like that. Hey, appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate I, it. I, I, I gotta make like a. I and make like and I'm not trying to be nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll be, I, I I was thinking as you were like doing this, I want to make some kind of like a uh, I don't know like a 
special thing for like PWF, like yeah. all stars or something like that. Like the people who got better. It's pretty, it's pretty trippy watching like your uh, transformation. From, I like, know. I was trying to find my one. The first one I did was like dreadful. With I that, know. I can't find it for a certain reason. Alex, did you take it off by chance? No, no, I have it. I'm actually going to do a video uh, uh -huh. probably in a few days. We'll be like before and after. I'm going to use you as a case study. Okay, That's yeah, cool. that'd be cool. Man. <laughs> Much love. Hey. Yeah. Cool. All right, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. Take care, guys. Yeah. Take care. Take all right, cool. So that's basically so. Uh, yeah. So that was the speed dating segment. So, uh, we started doing something new, which is like a post show. Uh, but if you girls got a dip, it's no worries. But basically, we just open up the panel and instead of doing speed dates, we just let people kind of voice their opinions and whatnot, ask questions. It goes for about 15, 20 minutes, and we got Marcus joining us for that. Yo, what up? Saw brother. Yo, what's going on? Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna drop a link right now so you can ask anyone questions, Marcus, me, any of the girls, voice your concerns, uh, all that good shit. Uh, okay. So yeah, drop the link. Marcus gracing us with his presence again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Marcus. Marcus, where are you living now? Bro, I just got back to Sydney two weeks ago. So I'll be here for a few months and then I'll tour again. I'll head over to the States and then Europe again. Or, yeah, when you come to Miami, we should shoot some uh, infield. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's do it. I'm down. That'd be epic. Yeah, uh, fun. Yeah, we got, what's that? Q on. Yo, what up? Hello again. Marcus. It's good. You, it's, good. It, it's, it's good to finally speak with you. I've been, I've been, I've been watching both your guys' stuff for like a long time. Uh, but, but you've been watching mine more, right? Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good, by virtue of you being in the manuscript for longer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want you getting distracted too much on Marcus's content. Hey, Hugh, do you love me as well, man? Or I love is this both like of a ah? Thank you. I was waiting for that. I was getting jealous there for a I, second. I, I like what you did with the buzz cut. I remember you used to like you know like sweep it up a little bit, but yeah, now no, like, kind of like too. you yeah, kind of yeah. like just got rid of it all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I had a question because I I was uh, I was part of your uh, little group for a while hmm. uh, a while back, like last summer, and hmm. I just saw you recently launched. Like this is such like a revolutionary product. You, it was an Instagram post or a Facebook post, and it, you had to post it on Vimeo because it was like, you know, mm. too. It was too too taboo. To go, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, have you dude. released that yet? Like, are you guys still working on that, or like, what what are you doing for this whole product launch? How are you getting it to the masses right now? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it's a sex product for those that are wondering, and that'll be yeah. Oh, come on, we weren't. Months. That's too taboo. We weren't supposed to say that. Well, sorry, sorry. It's uh, it's not a sex product, Keep and it it'll be out. To, <laughs> it'll be out in a couple of months. Essentially, I'm having issues with payment processes because I don't want to get fucking banned and shit. So, yeah. once that's sorted, all the, the products. Yeah, Alex is just nodding. He knows what's up. So, once uh, once that's done, um, it's gonna be out. So, I'm thinking about two months, and then mm. then we'll be sweet to go. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I lost. I lost like over thirty thousand dollars when I got kicked mm. off. Um, what the fuck is Stripe? It Stripe. Yeah. Uh, mm. but PayPal has been pretty good to me. Have you tried PayPal? Yeah. I mean, I'm using PayPal and Stripe now, but this is explicit. Like, I'm. It's porn scenes essentially. Like, yeah. uh, it's me fucking girls on on camera. So that I don't, I don't think PayPal is going to be sweet. With bro, that, just use honest. decentralized currency. Just uh, require payment in Bitcoin. Bro. Uh, you know what you can use? You can use CC Bill. They allow adult content. Yeah, that's, so that's what I'm doing. So I've created an American company and then I'm um, getting my EIN or whatever it's called. And then essentially I can sign up with CC Bill because they I don't think they allow you in Australia to use CC Bill from memory. Um, but yeah, well, we're going to we're going to get that sorted. But Hugh, by the way, you, you did very well, man. I was impressed. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, yeah. I also, well, because I figured like you guys hadn't uploaded on your channel. So I figured you guys were like focusing on the product because I know Alexander mm -hmm. runs the channel. Like he's been doing the videos and stuff. Yep. So I was just curious where most of your guys' time was going, but I assumed it was building a new product. Yeah, it was a product. We'd been doing a lot of coaching, and uh, yeah, message Alex, tell him to do some more videos, bro. He needs. Uh, he I needs know you guys. You guys need to collab more. You guys are like some of the <laughs> yes, like, most fun. prolific, like actual, genuine dudes in the manosphere. So Cheers, it, was, it, it was. I was glad to see you guys come together today. But yeah, also yesterday we had sure. a chick uh, on. What, what was it? Katya or something. Yeah, cat. 
Yeah. yeah where? Because she said that you guys had a podcast. I can't find that shit on YouTube or anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, that comes out Wednesday. I think it's out now, but we're announcing Wednesday. Sex with Cat and Mark. I'm pretty sure it's called. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sex with Cat and Mark. On Spotify. Uh, did you did you uh, do a speed date with her yesterday? I, I didn't see the. No, full... I, I I was oh, working okay. last night. I missed it. So. It's all right. Maybe I'll set up a private speed date with you too. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Be, you sorted here. You yeah. guys are so no, far away, fun. though, man. You guys are so far yeah, away. That's true. That's true. Yeah, she, yeah. she was cool. I like. I liked her. She had like yeah, a very a fun. giddy type of energy. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> she's got a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah, but Alex. She's, uh, Oh, sorry, Marcus. Yeah, no, go on you. Go on you. Well, Alex, the I see you took my advice, or was it just kind of like a happenstance? Like I, the just chatting on Twitch. Like there's so there's so many Twitch streamers that like girls that do like the speed dates and stuff. That you yeah, can, like, I got to give credit to uh, Not So Erudite for introducing me to Malik. Yeah, it was all her. Oh, she, she was she was the one. Okay. Yeah, she reached out to me actually, and she was like, "Hey, I know an e girl," and I was like, "E girl." <laughs> E girl, uh, they really use that term. Damn, yeah, yeah. damn. She's like, I gotta talk to her about that. She's like, she's a full-on e girl, but she's she's really fun. I was like, all right, cool. Let's uh, set up an introduction. Hey, at least and you I, didn't get hot tub streamer, Malik. That would have been. No, oh, no, I'm not, not me. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a you're a good girl. Malik, Thank you me. should cross over into the YouTube world. I feel like Twitch is just like YouTube is just so much superior to Twitch, honestly. My my thing with uh, YouTube is I've collaborated with some YouTube streamers, but a lot of YouTube streamers are on YouTube because they've been banned from Twitch. Um, so uh, it's against community guidelines on Twitch to stream with another uh, individual who's banned on the platform. So it's just kind of sticky waters to like go into YouTube. Um, but a lot of people on YouTube are cool. Sticky water. They're, they're more um, people who dwell outside and not locked in their basement. Like a lot of people on Twitch never leave the house. Like everyone on Twitch is socially awkward as fuck. And YouTube is like your average person. There's a lot of really socially awkward people on YouTube. But yeah, I would say it's overall it's better than Twitch. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think like my channel, like there's there's this thing called the Blackville community, Malik. And uh, yeah, that's a fucking. I'm in a red pill community. I don't know a black pill community, but I'm in a red pill community, and oh, that's guess... that's pretty wild. Oh, it's a lot more wild with the black pill. Yeah, they believe all kinds of like kooky shit. Wait, uh, can you like give me some examples? I'm very well, curious. It's it's a bunch I, of guys. I think she's trolling you, Alex. No, I'm actually very I don't curious. Think she is. I, it's a bunch of guys who say that looks are the only things that matter, but they never show their own faces, and like they, it, it's just like a series of contradictions. Uh, they believe like a lot of conspiracy shit. Like they, they legitimately believe that girls are like hoarding pussy, and there's like a conspiracy of like girls to like keep their pussy away from like the uh, normie guys <laughs> and save it for oh, the biggest guys. conspiracy. Damn. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, very interesting thought. That's, I mean, some, that's interesting. Some of them are pretty pretty fun to talk to. Some of them are like really crazy as fuck. Oh yeah, it's it sounds it sounds like a really fun person to debate. Malik, how did you find yourself in this? in in this uh twitch streaming position um on this today's stream or no i'm talking about in general like because you said you were a real estate investor and you do this full time so those are like like two ways yeah well well, that's just because in in the entertainment industry like as a female like just being blunt about it you got to have long-term plans like i can't be doing this shit when i'm 40 you know (laughs) I mean, I could, but like, I, I want to do something that has like definite stability, uh, which is why I'm in the like, well, I'm not fully in the real estate world yet. I'm, I'm working on that. Um, I have a brokerage that I'm working with, but uh, I'm not fully into that world yet. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's just like a more stable income. So if you have clients in the future and they like happen to stumble upon your like past streams and so, don't you? Don't you think that? I don't give a fuck. No, I, think I think they'll be more likely I to quit. Be anything. I quit I think, my I corporate like, job because I was tired of working for other people. They're right? going to end if, up in a porn scene. Oh, no, no, no. Like, like tenant, I, most tenant, real estate and tenant. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. No, I, I don't, I, I, I don't like, dabble in that world. <laughs> dude, I, I've like hooked up with a few realtors and they're always like, most of them are against like using their beauty to sell. But like the ones who don't mind it, like the stories are pretty funny. They're like, yeah. You know, no one could fucking in my bro in my company could sell this guy, and I just showed up, 
and I just smiled and then bam, he fucking bought. Like, you know, like dudes will do anything. Like if they think yeah. if there's even a remote chance they will get laid. Like, like I've I'm, seen billboards of like realtors where the billboard picture is just like the hottest agent they have with like a an unbuttoned shirt, you know? Yeah. A lot, lot of field uh, in the masses. A lot, of, uh, a lot of simping, lot of simping going on. Oh, uh, here's a funny. We got a request from our female viewer. Uh, you know, our one percent female audience. Can Marcus lean to the mic and tell me I'm a good girl, please? <laughs> oh God. Marcus, they love your voice. Michelle, you're such a good little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle just literally busted a nut. More on that in the product. It's no, no November. You gotta exactly. wait, Michelle. Jeez. <laughs> no, she is. She's being a good girl. She has to wait. It's okay. <laughs> Don't say it like that, Marcus. <laughs> I'm sorry, Malik. I'm sorry, but Alex's name's on the whiteboard, okay? Uh, I have to talk I mean, to Michelle like this now. It is on the whiteboard. I mean, you know, Alex is a good name. Up. You know, Marcus is a little long, right? You That's know, there's too many, too many letters, bro. I mean, like, it's, it's not going to fit. Fair call. Yeah, yeah. It's just too long to write. Sorry yeah, about that. You don't want to. Uh... Yeah, you, you don't want to fuck with a guy with a long name. I mean, like, you know. Like, yeah, you know, it's just too big. Oh, Some yeah. girls can't yeah. handle it that big, Alex. You know? No, but there, there's some names tough. that, like, not going to lie, I feel bad. Like. You feel bad? For people with certain names. Like what? Say it. Like, can you really imagine being in bed and yelling Theodore? Theodore? Like oh, Theodore my. Roosevelt? <laughs> It's like, over for Theodore cells. You got to say Ted or something. I don't know. This is this is how black pill starts for <laughs> people like Mal. Yeah, openly, <laughs> oh, openly just shitting on Theodores around the world. No, any Theodores in chat, I Theodore. love you, you. But like I yeah. I think there are way worse names though than Theodore. I would say Oh, like, definitely. Like like, like you. No, not you. Al I thought she was gonna say Johnny or some shit. I think she was gonna shit. No, like, like, like a feminine name. That would be the worst. Like uh I don't know, if you're like if you're like a dude and your mom names you like Stacy or something, like you know. It's gotta they be a multisexual name. Dylan is yeah. for both, right? Like I, I met Dylan, Dylan? girl. Dylan. Dylan? Yeah, um, that, can, that can go either way. Yeah. I've but known. Dylan for me is like more for men, right? It's more common for men. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. That's like Dylan woman, oh, okay. But Malik, Malik, you're, you're that's kind of like a guy's name, though, don't you think? So it's like if the if the dude was like yelling Malik in bed. Wait, you know, Hugh, was... are you speaking from your mind or speaking from chat? Oh, ouch! I yeah. just don't know who's asking. Me. Okay. It came out of my mouth. Um, Malik is a word in multiple Arabic languages. Um. And depending on pronunciation, it can be a guy's name or a girl's name, but um, it was my nickname <laughs> growing up, so that's why it's my username. Well, I'm, I'm glad you have a justification for it. All right, tough crowd. Wow. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I think I should leave now before the rest of the panel crashes. Have a good night, guys. No, I think you're doing great right there. Keep, keep no, you're doing, you're doing well, Hugh. You're uh, doing well, bro. You're good. I was, I was, I was, I was you, bro. pacing. I was pacing. I was pacing. You're bro. pacing? You're good, bro. Oh, we got Johnny backstage. Do you have anything nice, you want to add in the Q and A? Yeah. Um, basically, I just want to say what's up to Marcus. Uh, hey, hey, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alex introduced. Well, he like showed me your content, put me onto it like two weeks ago. And I've just been binging you and other Alex. Oh, awesome, man. It's amazing. Cool. Nah, she's yeah. made appreciate that. Well, let's not get carried away, right? Like, you know, his content is pretty good, but it's like, you know, not as good as PWF. Like, I mean, it's, it's not like we have 100k subs or anything. <laughs> Sorry about that. I feel, like you, I feel like you guys easily could if you made more content. You guys are so special. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's how, that's how bad. We just need to fucking pull our finger out a little bit and do some do, more do you, want, do you want my honest assessment about you guys? No, no, yeah, of course, always. Very, very good uh, pickup guys, like very good dating coaches. Not, not really good business people. Damn. Yep, hundred percent. No, I mean it, it's true. That's it's true. Tough. Like we we got into this. No, no, it's true. We got into this from the the mentoring coaching side of things, right? We were never business guys, so that's kind of what we've always focused on. So it does require us to be able to step out of that a little bit and be like, okay. How do we actually focus on the marketing and business side of things? So, Alex, I mean, you've, that's something you've been killing. So maybe we need to get some uh, some advice off you in terms of that. I mean, I, I don't would... know if I've been killing it. I've been doing okay. I mean, there's people like um, 
what's her name, pearly things who just like flown past me uh, like really quick. So I've been, I've, I would say I'm doing okay. I'm not like super crushing it. But uh, yeah, I feel like that's like one thing that Pierre really brought to the team because Pierre was very business focused. So I feel like you guys yeah. need someone like maybe it doesn't have to be Pierre exactly, but someone who's like very business oriented to kind of balance out, I don't know, you call it the creative talent or whatever. Yeah, no, 100%. Well, sure. Marcus, if you're if you're looking for a good marketing agent to really boom your business, I know a guy by the name of Dennis Wynn. <laughs> he, he will set you straight as fuck. I'm and not sure if this is trolling or not. No, it's oh, like an inside joke. Like, yeah. yeah. He, like every time he comes on, he like tries to offer me his marketing. But uh if Dennis you're not is happy, a real dude. Yeah, yeah if I you're not happy him. with the marketing, he can do a magic trick for you. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused, but sure, sure, yeah, hit me yeah. up. But uh, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, I don't know. I don't know if he's trolling me or not. But, no, he's uh, not. Yeah, he's no, I haven't. Really I missed not. the past videos. All right, sweet ass, sweet ass, hook real, me up. He's a real dude. He's yeah, a real right. dude. All right, perfect. Interesting character. I had a question for you. How long have you been in game? Like, when did you start? Ah, uh, brother. Um, so I started when I was about 24. So I was in a relationship for about five years. We broke up. And then I started game. So I started, dude, I was How nervous, shy, 32, 32 now. Damn, you and, good uh, at 32. Thank you, Hugh. Bro, this guy, no, you're good at this, Damn. man. I, I might <laughs> take you on a date, Hugh. This is absurd, man. I'm just uh, being real, man. This, this is, is what you see yeah. is what you get. And I like uh, it when I'm seeing no, I appreciate that, man. So yeah, it's been, how many years is that? Someone do the math. It's, uh, yeah, since I was 24. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was rough to begin with. And then okay. just went out pretty much every day for years and uh, got it sorted, you know? Yeah, that's like when I started, actually. I'm 26 now, but like, I want to get hmm. fucking good. You have any advice? Uh, yeah. You guys want to get yeah. excellent? Yeah, dude, feedback. Feedback should be just... Your biggest thing, man. So obviously you're going to be going out. You you get you know you've probably got a structure. You probably got some advice off you know Alex and myself. The biggest thing is feedback. So even asking the girls, man, like that's what I like about this platform. You get feedback off everyone, and the girls are actually really good. I feel like Malik actually gave some very honest and good feedback. So, um, yeah. like when she gave you that feedback, I'd be fucking listening, and I'd be saying, okay, what else? What else? Like, let them roast you. You have to drop all ego. Like, it's the hardest fucking thing, man. But even in bed at first, the only way I got really good at sex is by telling the girls, hey, how was it? And all of them are like, it was good. I'm like, no, no, shut the fuck up. Like, tell me one thing I can do better. Like, really? And that's when they're going to be like, okay, you could have choked me a little harder. Okay, uh, this knot was a bit tight. Or even just, hey, the light was too bright or some shit. You're going to learn. So just get oh, yeah. feedback all the fucking time, man. Yeah, and feedback's to important. It. I always ask the girls after I have sex with them, like, well, yeah. what did you like about it? What was one thing you want me to do again? Stuff like that. Yeah, that 100%. Be but, but, but get the get the truth, too. Like, because yeah. that's kind of like, what did I do good? What do you want to... Hey, like, even fucking diss them a little bit first. Be like, look, it'd be better if you're a little louder, right? You're so quiet during sex. Oh, and yeah. then ask, hey, what can I do better? And so now she's like, all right, well, fuck you. You say that to Malik, she's yeah. going to give you a list. You're going to tell her, like, I wish you were louder. She's like, okay, fuck you, motherfucker. This you're is what you need to do, bro. Yeah, exactly. You're a piece of shit. Yep. Wait, there was not enough knives. Where are all the knives? You didn't no, kidnap no. me. This isn't not, fun. Not enough so blood. Not enough uh, knives. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. you got to make sure your sub Shabari game is on 110%. I think the hardest part is dropping your ego. It's like so incredibly hard for people. I have, I feel like I have a unique advantage because I did sales for five years. So like in sales, it's like if you don't drop your ego and take feedback, you get fired. So your livelihood is on the line. So you have like <laughs> lose. But like my sales manager was like a five foot one redheaded girl who was literally the best, most charismatic human being I have ever seen. That lady could do shit that like. I feel like no dating coach could do when it comes to like selling shit. I don't know how she is at picking up girls, but yeah, like just really good at like reframing <laughs> things, and like getting people to trust her and shit like that. So like, that's kind of what paved the way for me to like be able to like, okay, like uh, strip my ego, listen to the feedback, internalize it. But yeah, it's fucking hard because your natural instinct is to be resistant and defend yourself. You're like, Oh, I was all uh, right. That's like the instinct that a lot of guys have. Uh, it's tough. I think most guys can't do it. Yeah. What, what do you think, Alex, helped you? Because I, I feel like sales translates to game pretty quickly. Do you think that other skills you picked up in sales that helped you in game? I think there's definitely massive overlap. Yeah, I think that sales helped me massively. Uh, it just comes down to like quantity. 
when you're when you're doing pickup, you're typically not doing like 50, 60 hours a week. You're doing maybe like, I don't know, you're doing like an hour or two here, an hour or two there. Uh, but with sales, it's like a full time job. So you're doing like you're spending 10 hours a day socializing and trying to sell people shit. And you have like external <laughs> pressure because if you don't sell, you, you know, you're going to lose your job. Maybe not right now. <laughs> yeah. Cut like it out. With Gary, so, yeah, you seem like you know a lot about the sales part. I, I'm in sales. I'm in oh, sales you are? too. So yeah, yeah. So I'm listening, and yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know exactly yeah. how it's the feel. What do you What do you sell, Dre? So I'm a realtor as well, but I also um, do marketing sales for uh, resorts. Mm. There you go, Marcus. So, There's another one. You got so many. All right, pro, tonight. All right, she's gonna help me with my business. Thank you. I appreciate this. <laughs> So yeah, you will constantly learning about how to deal with objections and you get better and better. And that's what makes people, you know, successful in this career. It's like how you talk to people and make them trust you quickly, you know? Yeah. It's al what, what, almost like a dating. Yeah. When I, when I first started doing sales, my approach was just to like tell people how awesome the product I was selling was and like never, ever worked. Uh, but then when I started like asking questions that led them to the conclusion I wanted them, which is that my product is awesome and it's going to help them. That's when I saw things like massively transform. So most of the time, like when you're doing sales, like you're not even like, like there's this idea in the movies where you're like, you know, you're like trying to like, uh, you know, just be like very aggressive and you're like, okay, so you're going to buy, you know, but like that's not really how it works in real life. You want to be much more like a little bit laid back and just ask the right kind of questions. Yeah. And control the situation too. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely true. Yep. Um, hey, uh, Marcus, how did you meet Alex, by the way, Mr. Lindbergh? Bro, we – oh, Lindbergh. Okay. We <laughs> met uh, – fuck, Matt. Probably like five years ago in in Sydney, actually. So he, oh. he came up – he was living in Melbourne at the time. So I know he's Swedish, but he was yeah, living in Melbourne yeah, for a year. I knew yeah, and then – Exactly, bro. So he came up to Sydney and just came out and partied with us. And I fucking hated the guy. <laughs> so the, the first, the first night I met him, I'm like, this guy is a fucking asshole. I was like, I just didn't like it. And then, yeah, right. uh, like yeah. And then now we're best friends, business partners, and yeah, the guy's a legend. But uh, yeah, so after that, essentially, like years later, we started the business and he and he joined in. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's the story of how we met. What a fantastic story. I wouldn't have expected it to go any other way with you. Yeah, that's, that's true, bro. Yeah, but actually, we need to get Alex on. Someone said it there in the chat. I uh, agree with that. Yeah, for sure. If you Alex, on, Al welcome. Alex, I have a question. Huh? What do you think about, well, obviously, Marcus has to be okay with it, but there are still some infields of, like, Marcus from, like, a, a long time ago. What if we pulled one up on this stream and, like, analyzed it? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I did that when I was I, – I've broken down his infield like several times in the past. Yeah, well, that was like a while ago. I don't know if there are any newer ones, but I feel like I feel like the newer people in chat could like benefit from that and have like – because now we have Marcus. He can actually like give actual feedback of like what he was thinking while he was doing it, you know? Yeah, sure. If Marcus has some new infield, yeah, sure. We can definitely break it down on the stream. It sounds yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can do that uh... – uh, I've got some audio in fields that's fairly recent, um, but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll chat to you, Alex. We can plan something and, and yeah, for sure. you can uh, do it while you stream. Yeah, for but, sure. I had a question also. Well, how tall are you, by the way? You look fucking tall in all your in fields. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm seven foot, bro. I figured. I no, nah, no, I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> okay, well, I'm like <laughs> six one. I'm well, six one. I wish I was seven foot. I'm six one. Oh shit! Yeah, you were like Tim's. I always wear my Tim's. I'm like five eleven, but yeah. yes. I'm give you like an extra three inches. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. On Tinder, I'm six two. In case, uh, in case anyone's asking, but yeah. Otherwise, it's the infield. Also, I, I feel like I don't know what it is, man. But literally, everyone I meet as a student in person says the same shit. They're like, "Dude, I thought you were way yeah. taller." And I'm like, "Bro, I'm six foot." They're like, "Yeah, but yeah, you look well, so tall in the infield." <laughs> I'm like, "I don't know what that means, but cool." He just approaches but, uh, short women. Yeah, the short yeah, girl. exactly. I only, yeah, I prefer just five foot and under, so it makes me look taller. <laughs> that's uh, that's essentially five foot and under. Yeah, that, that was a joke, Malik. That was a joke. That's that's short. It is. I'll tell you, Malik. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. All right. Well, Malik, I'll tell you. You could be a different business prospect tall, at this point, Dre. You're like five one, five two. 
Everyone thinks I'm short. I don't know why. I'm five six. What? To be short. It's the it's the camera angle, right? Yo, that, it's oh, it's pointing yeah. down at you. That's taller yeah. than me. You seem oh. small, Hugh. I'm I'm four eleven. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, I'm four eleven. Ultimate. It's okay. Ball. I support short kings. That's true. Rise up. Rise up. Yo. Wait, what's short? Mass perfumes are in the smallest containers. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the best perfumes are in the small bottles. That's what they say. Hugh, she's saying this is what they old. say. You never heard about it, yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, I, no, I've never heard that. Bit. I've heard she's different. Made, I've heard she's different. making an analogy. Small, small the things, small yeah. perfume bottle is your dick. Hey, at least it yeah. smells good. Yeah, it that's it? true. That's true. I don't well, know. Well, I'm not saying it's true from experience, yeah. but I was agreeing with the analogy. Yeah. You sure about that? Right. It sounded, it sounded like. You're being pretty. Oh, I said it a bit too quick, didn't I? Yeah, I said it a bit too quick. You vouched for him. We're having yeah, some bromance dude. tonight. It's okay. Yeah, listen, that's going, going on. Going with it. I think there's something going on here, guys. Yeah, yeah. me and you are gonna have a five minute date after there's, this. There's something. <laughs> <in there. laughs> five minutes. No, let's, yeah. let's, let's, no, let's, let's, let's do it right, right now. Right now. <laughs> speed date. <laughs> me and Marcus are gonna spit game to each other. Let's see who, uh, who, that's who, too who funny. falls for that's who too first. Funny. But you know, he's not gonna be like confident like he usually is. He's gonna be like really nervous, and he's yeah. like, <laughs> "Yeah, all right." So finally, exactly. we're Marcus, well, Marcus, so I'm only four eleven. Stop. Mark, it's, it's good to finally have a conversation with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Any any last questions before we wrap up? I, I had one quick question also. This is like the last one for Marcus. Uh, basically, like for me, I've gotten stuck like trying to get more than eights. Like I consistently pull eights like pretty much every week or in person. But once it comes to the nines and the tens, I do not. So I was wondering like how do I like get past that, start getting the nines and the tens? Uh, okay, so there's two parts to this, right? There's one part which usually is around mindset, which is you tend, people tend to get a little bit intimidated or in their head around girls that they're much more attracted to. Oh, yeah. But there's also a much more logical, just straight up fact that these girls are more attractive, have more value. They're gonna have more opportunities with guys. So there's probably like a value mismatch because let, let's be honest, Johnny, I mean, you, you're not a model, right? You're not a fucking 10 out of 10, right? Me and you, we're, we're sevens, bro. You gotta, you gotta live with that, bro. So we're, as average looking guys, you, you need to compensate somehow with your looks. And the biggest thing is going to be personality. Now, it's also gonna depend on the girl. Someone like Malik is gonna love dominance, right? So in that conversation, if you could show off a little bit more confidence, be a little bit more direct, put her in a place a little bit, that's gonna, be perceived as a lot more value. So suddenly you go from seven to a nine. Um, whereas with Drea, uh, I mean, I didn't get too much of a chance to chat with her, but it might be different, right? She might have different values or different things that she looks for in you. But generally speaking, it's gonna be those personality traits that you need to display. So things, you know, the obvious stuff, things like your, your status, let's say, or your career path, your ambition in life, um, the values that the girl might be looking for. And then, yeah, obviously things around like dominance, being good in bed, understanding women, being confident. Um, so that's what you really have to work on. Um, so I know it's a bit of a hard answer because it's like, how do I game is like essentially the question. Yeah. But yeah, work on the mindset, realize that you are in fact good enough when you have those things and then work on the things that we just I, spoke about. I also want to add that confidence plays a big role. If you look at someone you're interested in, as they're out of your league, you're not going to get with them because you're going to talk with them as if you're lesser than them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Those I would just sense. say the one thing I would disagree, I don't feel like nines and tens are harder than sevens or eights. I feel like really? maybe they're harder because you put them on a pedestal and so you're more nervous around them. So in that sense, maybe they're all harder. But if you have the same level of confidence, I don't feel like there's anything because any girl nowadays, even like overweight girls are getting propositioned like crazy. Mm -hmm. So it just becomes like it gets to a point of scale. Like you can take her six who's out at eight who's out, ten who's out. They're both going to get approached so many times. Like is there a difference between her getting approached 30 times a night or 50 times a night? Not really because the scale is just like this is overwhelming. There's too many guys that want to fuck me. So I feel like, I don't know. My experience has been that like the, uh, the difficulty level is largely the same, but you're probably going to be more nervous and that's what's going to fuck you up. Yeah. But what about just to like add on to that girls who are in their environment, like the nines and the tens that are like bottle service girls working type shit or like when they're the hot girls and they're getting all the attention because they're the hot girls. I'm trying to think of other examples. 
Well, like, it's, it's tough because those girls are constantly getting hit on. Yeah. You got to stand out. I don't mean, the, look, they're, they're fucking they're working, bro. Yeah, if they're like, yeah. Hey, if I look, see it's, my dreams, you, you need to. I'm still yeah, going. Joe, Joe, it, that's good. I like that fucking confidence, right? That's what you need. Like, I like that attitude. I'm going to go for it. But the problem is they're working. So they're in that mindset. They're in that frame, right? It's like, I'm just here to work. They're going to flow with you for a tip. So if if you want to try hit on a girl like that you need to take him out of that environment and out of that frame and i don't mean like kidnap them and take them outside <laughs> i mean stop with the nice shit right yeah. they come over what bottle would you like blah blah give them a little bit of shit i'd be like do you, do you fucking hate your job or what like what's wrong they're like what no like take him out of that i'm being nice to this person and this is a work environment and Put them into more of that flirtatious space. But look, they're fucking working, man. Hit on hit on some girls that are a little bit more available. Yeah. Yeah. The only time you should be putting nines and tens on pedestals is when you're looking up their skirts. Thanks. I'm writing that one down. Good one. Uh, all right, cool. Let, let's, sure. uh, let's, uh, let's wrap up. So, uh, yeah, let's just all go in order. We'll just plug our uh, socials or whatever we want to uh, promote. So, let's start with you, Drea. So that's my Instagram right here. It's Drea underline CrossFit. So I post a workout. I post my routine. So just follow me there. <laughs> cool. Malik? Uh, Malik underscore zero four on all platforms. Um, Twitch is my main platform, though. Twitch.tv dash Malik underscore zero four. If we go to your Twitch, can we see the creature people? Um, well, you guys are on screen on my Twitch right now, and I don't think you guys are creature people. Um, but, but, um, maybe sometime. Yes. I want I want to see like the legit creature. people. I may get some creature people on later tonight. Okay. I may. Cool. That's what, that's what I want to hear. All right, Marcus. Yeah. Ultimate man project. Uh, also for the sex coaching side of things, it's going to be coming out in a couple of months. Orgasmicblisscoaching.com. The website's going to be up soon, but otherwise ultimate man project, uh, you can check out our YouTube, Facebook group. See us there. Cool. Hugh, Johnny, do you have anything you want to plug? Uh, I mean, I have an Instagram. That's about it. I, I'm not like an influencer. Although I do run a business in my area. So people can look at my Instagram for that. Don't That's worry. it. It's, it's only a matter of time before you become my, uh, my puppet. So <laughs> just give it a few weeks. Uh, Johnny, anything you want to plug? Yeah, I just got my Instagram on here. If you guys want to follow it, I'll give you guys a follow back. And also... Uh, look at Ultimate Man Project and obviously playing with fire. Hit this hit this video with a like too for Alex. Fuck Smash yeah. it. Highly appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks to all the guests. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, thank you everybody. so much for Alex. having me on, Alex. I had a fuck ton of fun. Yeah, for sure. It was fun. <laughs> Let's definitely get all of you guys on again. Hell yeah. Get some of your Twitch viewers on next time, Malik. Give them give them the link. Preacher so people. Um, preacher yeah. people. Get your preachers <laughs> on. Yeah. I love uh, the preachers. Sure. Sure. All right. Peace. All right.